Okay, guys, we are live. Uh, so for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I'll be your friendly uh, Elder Stroll Master, I guess, today. Because today we are going to be returning to the northernmost province in Tamriel, the province of Skyrim, to once again uh, play a session of the unofficial Elder Scrolls role-playing game, third edition. Um, we've been playing quite a bit of this lately, and uh, we're returning to, I need to start changing up our characters and changing up our maps, um, but uh, I'll deal with that <laughs> problem <laughs> at another point. Um, we were gonna be continuing on with our guard campaign, but unfortunately we, uh, we were down a couple of players and uh, having two superheroes against a supervillain jailbreak did not seem fair, so instead I'll try and kill uh, some heroes with some undead instead. Uh, mm -hmm. So with me this morning are the stars of uh, the guard campaign and the stars of today's session, which is uh, the dead of Bleak Falls. And uh, I'll go the order. I've got you guys on the screen here. Why don't you tell us who you are and who you're playing today? First up, well, we've got Jeffrey. Hey, everybody. I'm Jeff, and I am playing for cool. And they are a... What's their kind of... Uh... Uh, you're an orc or an orsimer, depending orsimer. on. Orsimer. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like sort of a barbarian type character. Yeah, like an orc. Um, the... I mean, he's a. Uh, I mean, a warrior in a wilderness survival. Barbarian, not necessarily in the like D and D sense of just raging, but um, definitely he would be from a less uh, uh, cultured um, environment than what uh, some others might be. Fair. Yeah. Um, he does use a big fuck off uh, axe. So that does fit in the barbarian thing as well. Uh, and joining him is Robert. Yeah, I'm playing Olaf Stornson. He's a Nord. Um, he's normally a sword and board type, but he saw how much fun uh, Jeff was having with that big axe, and he's decided to join in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we last played this about uh, a month ago uh, mm -hmm. with these characters, and we did leave off with a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, <laughs> what do you guys recall from last time? Um we were hired by some widow to find her, not widow yet. Um, well, actually technically now a widow, uh, mm. <laughs> probably, um, to find her husband and two sons yep. who had been, is it right that they were inside the tower we eventually ended up? Like the, yeah. they were supposed to be the tower watchmen? Exactly. You guys uh, made your way to uh, Bleak Falls uh, watchtower mm -hmm. uh, to see what... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm kind of placing your, tar your tokens for really no reason here because we're going here next. Um, and I, I remember we fought some wolves on the way. Yep. And we were saying it's all her fault. Um, it, you know, technically it was our fault for taking the uh, the thing, but uh, you know, <laughs> it's always fun to blame somebody else, right, Jeff? <laughs> it is. It's true. And, uh, yeah. And uh, long story short-ish, we ran across. Do you remember who they were, Jeff? They were like um, signs of some people who weren't supposed to be there. Uh, Reachmen. Yeah, I don't exactly remember. Yeah, I remember that. I, I'm losing the connection between them and undead. They they had some connection that made yeah, us think the, that they were probably undead in the uh, tower. So the I'll bring you over to <clears throat> our map of Tamriel just to situate mm -hmm. where you guys are. Mm -hmm. So you guys are in the northernmost province, obviously, in mm -hmm. uh, Skyrim. Yeah. Where we are right now is just outside of Riverwood. So Riverwood is here. You were hired in Helgen uh, through the Fighters Guild to go and find what <laughs> happened to this woman's um, relatives. So you mm -hmm. traveled to Riverwood, and then from Riverwood you made your way up into Bleak Falls, which mm -hmm. looks out over the valley here. Mm -hmm. And where these uh, individuals seem to be from is from the Reach. And the Reach is way over here mm -hmm. 
the Reachmen yeah. uh, are a not. We talked about uh, the kind of religion in uh, Skyrim a little bit to give context to them because in Skyrim there are gods and there mm -hmm. are Daedric princes. Uh, Daedric princes can be thought of as gods that sat out creation, so they don't have mm -hmm. a hand in in the actual creation. Um, some Daedric princes can be quite malevolent. Some can be less malevolent but still you know um, suspect and mm -hmm. the reachmen worship a number of the darker uh, form of uh, Daedric princes they are descended from folks uh, who are from over here which is the, the Bretons in mm -hmm. uh, Daggerfall and the Nords uh, who landed in Skyrim from a continent to the north and the reachmen though are kind of their own insular culture and they um as a result of kind of their insular nature they tend to not really leave the reach um <laughs> so finding evidence of them here is troubling and there was um does that remind you no, I remember that. Sorry, um, I, I remember another reason we thought that there might be undead in the area, and that's yep. because there were bare. They, we saw bare feet in the snow and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, but I don't yeah. know if that was directly connect. If we if we made a direct connection between them and the Reachmen. No, you you <laughs> found the uh, Reachmen definitely uh, track or tracks suggesting them going into uh, Bleak Falls Tower. Okay. And then uh, you guys made your way in, and mm -hmm. well, you found the son and mm -hmm. the husband. Yep. But uh, and at that, Olaf had threw himself into combat. But Tharkul, Tharkul does yeah. seem to have an issue with um, <laughs> the undead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I recall, um, so Olaf threw himself in. And were were both of the sons there, or just? Yes, there were there two was, sons. Right? There were two sons okay. as well. Okay, so two sons and and the father, presumably. There's three undead that look like them. Um, threw himself in, and I believe uh, Tharkul came in, saw undead, and he has an issue with undead to begin with, I guess. And yep. Promptly yes. Painted. Yeah, yep. he promptly fainted. And then um, the member who's no longer with us today, um, what was he? He was a cat man of yeah. some sort. Yeah, so, okay. he was a Khajiit. Yeah. yeah, he came in, and as I think John said, he said, hey, what are you doing? The, and he fainted too. So, <laughs> so, I, so I took down the... Um, I took down the father who I'm beginning to worry about as a as a player, mm. given that the other son is writing something, which seems like something that an undead would not do. Yeah. Is that correct that most undead are not? Uh, it um, depends. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the nature of the mm -hmm. undead. It, um, okay. Yeah, like un undeath, the, the undead, or necromancy, I should say, is uh, a strictly forbidden magic yeah. uh, in... Okay. Um, uh, Tamriel at this time and yeah. but it's also unfortunately it's quite powerful and quite widespread yeah. uh, a, yeah. a necromancer nearly took over the entire kingdom to the yeah. south or the kingdom of the empire uh, to the mm -hmm. south as a result of uh, in part their power uh, as a necromancer right. and their allegiance with a Daedric prince right um, so, so would Olav uh, have any I don't know would would there be anywhere in his worldview that undead could be not evil? Definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. Right, no. It's a, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was just I was just thinking that like you know he might be the son might be writing something like, dear mom, have discovered cure for undeath. Yeah. Uh, we, no, we now have our minds back. Our bodies will soon follow. <laughs> the, the Nord also have a thing about uh, disturbing the yeah. dead uh, okay. culturally as well. So okay. like that is. Uh, a right. particularly pernicious thing. So I think what okay. we'll do is we will start our session with Tharkul waking up to find a <laughs> bloodied and uh, or a, but seemingly you know covered in uh, in dried and caked blood. Um, Olaf waking you up because Olaf has cut down the other two undead uh, that were in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. So. Wake up. <laughs> you, it looks, it's it's looks gone? Like 
uh, yeah, I think I killed them. <laughs> um, and uh, they, they were they were very distracted by the sight of you two fainting, so that helped a great deal. <laughs> what was, was it the was it the family? Um, it's one the the one of them looks a little older, hard to tell. They all look kind of old and juicy, and you know. Uh, but I would guess that it was. They all looked male. And sorry, were the two younger sons? Were they like? Um, we had a description of them. Probably were yeah. they like smaller than the father, or no? They're all uh, you know large lads. Uh, okay, yeah, as is common so, among the Nords. But yeah, so you know, I'm guessing uh, we could look over the bodies, see if we find anything um, that's useful. So on the or bodies, that... uh, one one thing I will, I will point out too is that you may think it might be unusual for something to be writing in an environment like this. Uh, Tamriel yep. uh, literacy is about as common as it is in North America in the common in our era. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people know how to write and, and read, which has led to a uh, proliferation yep. of books across uh, the entire continent because it's <laughs> the demand is there yeah. for those. Yeah. Um, he'll he'll go over and. Uh, Actually, the first thing he'll do that is go see the note, take a look at the note that the one son was probably writing. So the note or, seems to start with a... It starts with handwriting that is legible uh, mm -hmm. and in kind of the, the common tongue. And then it descends into just gibberish uh, near the mm -hmm. end. But it's the same two words that are repeated over and over again. Oh, mm -hmm. no. The barrow, the barrow, the barrow, the barrow, mm -hmm. and then it descends into God. gibberish. Now, so Olaf, question: What? So, question: Would I attack him? Did he like? Did did it require an attack from me to get him to break off from that, or was it? Uh, he did. When you approached, he did get up and, and try and attack okay. you. So you were forced to. to cut him down okay, but uh okay. he seemed to be doing it right up until the end and the, to the point where like it's a broken and dry nib that he was writing with yeah yeah yeah. okay so he's almost like obsessed or um almost like an automaton until i kind of broke into his yeah. and okay and what you would know as well yeah. olav is that it's common knowledge that well, like across uh all of skyrim especially in some of these high places <laughs> there are uh, barrows that have been located uh burial places mm -hmm. for the ancient nords um that have not only you know uh the remnants and the the remains of uh law, the great kings and champions among the nords they're also chock full of um sometimes <laughs> magic that's said to date back to the dragon cult the now extinct mm -hmm. dragon cult thankfully um mm -hmm. But also uh, incredible amounts of riches uh, that are buried mm -hmm. with the ancient Nords and uh, traps, devious and malevolent okay. traps. I mention it because it's known that up near Bleak Falls uh, Tower, not not long, you know, maybe a 45 minute hike from here, there is a barrow complex that is quite uh, impressive mm -hmm. because it looks out over the valley. You can see it even from mm -hmm. very far down on clear days. Bleak Falls Barrow. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, oh, there would be no we'll, reason for these watch people to go there. Yep. Uh, but if the Reachmen are dabbling in necromancy, mm -hmm. there's an awful lot of corpses uh, and that are preserved. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The. And the bodies that we, sorry, their bodies. Was there any um. And just to be, just to make sure that we um, one hundred percent identify them, was there anything that the widow, now widow, told us uh, about them that would maybe yeah. something that they were wearing? Or... I mean, she would be able to give you a pretty good description because she did see yeah. them off, uh, so she yep. would give you a, a good enough description for what they looked like. Um, yep. Would Thar cool? Would you give us a survival check? That's what you use <laughs> for first aid in uh, in this game. Oh, okay. Or profession, um, um, I think it's profession medic or profession physician. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, yeah, I don't have those. No, no, but you have uh, survival. Yeah, I do have survival. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a luxury roll. Uh, Go right ahead. 
Let's try. Oh my goodness, three better. <laughs> okay, so you're looking over uh, the bodies. Now, Which the reason one's I asked the green bar? Sorry. Sorry, yo, luck is the green bar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're looking over these uh, bodies just to see if you could f determine, you know, uh, when they died, you know, before the they were animated once again. And unfortunately, uh, Olav has done a substantial amount of damage to the the <laughs> corporeal form, so it's very mm -hmm. difficult to tell whether these things died, you know, how, how they were killed in the first place. Mm -hmm. like, and would they have been wearing anything like a, like, I mean, I, I saw in the picture they showed up, of course it wasn't a one-to-one, -one, yeah. but he had like an amulet around his neck. Would there have been anything that she could have told us that they would have been wearing that would positively identify them? Well, I think what her instructions were to you was to bring back your hus uh, uh, her husband and sons or the heads of those responsible for their okay. deaths. Okay. But we can't be absolutely 100% sure looking at the bodies that these were, I mean, there's three of them, three males, which fits. No, but you're, okay. you can, with the description she gave you, these okay. are them. Okay, got it. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Just making sure that, like, somehow they didn't get replaced by these three. All right. No, and, like, what um, they're wearing, you can tell, like, the, even the clothing they're wearing is, is of the uh, okay. it's Nord designs. So they've got the same kind of, like, mm -hmm. you know, stitching mm -hmm. that cuts back and forth on it. Their yeah. weaponry has certain flourishes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. If you, I don't think either of you guys are uh, craft like blacksmiths at all but if you check for you know the baker's mark on these things they all were okay. crafted by the same blacksmith as well too so likely the blacksmith yeah. in um riverwood may have forged all of these weapons for them okay speaking of weapons any of them better than what we have no uh they <laughs> no. are uh th the there would have been a steel sword uh, for each mm -hmm. of them and then there would have been bows i mean i don't know if you guys have any uh range bows among you. yeah uh, i know so cool has that but one thing i would check is whether I long don't. bows or sorry short bows are among your um combat style yeah, probably not. The it is thing. for Tharkul. Tharkul, Sherpo is among your combat style. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is oh, not for you. All that means is yep. you'll be at minus 10 uh, when using your combat style. Yeah. Um, he'll take a bow anyway. I mean, it's you never know, right? Okay. Uh, so let's talk about encumbrance then, because uh, yeah. you, Olav, you have a carry rating of 28, and you're currently carrying 20 uh, encumbrance. Okay. Uh, so the a short bow uh, and, and uh, arrows. Where are we here? Gear. Here we go. Here we go. Sherpo weighs one encumbrance. Okay. And the arrows. Let's see here. One encumbrance uh, per ten arrows. <laughs> and you, the arrow types are either uh, broadhead, which have the uh, splitting quality. Mm -hmm. um, or bodkin, which have the slashing quality. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the, he would, if they have them, he'd rather have the broadhead. Okay. Uh, Splitting just gives a, a bleed effect uh, for okay. the following round equal to your strength bonus. Bodkin adds, uh, if you hit an unarmored location, it adds your strength bonuses damage flat out. Okay, he's just gonna, um, he's just gonna take ten of them. Um, yep. Yeah. He, this isn't his thing. He just wants them as kind of a extra. And he figures the broadhead splitting might be better against undead than slashing, but yep. depending on the kind. Yeah. Uh, what you thought? So there, there would be two other bows, and your um, your encumbrance is seventeen currently, mm -hmm. and I think your carry rating is yeah thirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it wouldn't hurt to take one, I guess, right? Okay. I mean. Um, and that's you can actually use your com your full combat style. Otherwise, Olav has to use his agility minus ten. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So you'll be a much more effective archer than what uh, Olav is. There. Okay. Then uh, if you wish to add a weapon, the shortbow does 1d6 damage. Sure. I think I have everything else on my character, right, for that. So 1d6. Sure. Oh, and what's the range? Range Oops. of the shortbow is 20 slash 100 slash 200. Okay. That is close, effective, and long. Yep. <laughs> and I said combat style to no for both of those, or for that. And... and no for you, Olav, and yes for you, uh, Thokul. <laughs> and the H is two? What's the H? H uh, hands two. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, two-handed. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. I, I mean, if you could do it with your mouth and your uh, hand, I'd be, you know, I'd be very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> so then... Uh, you were able to find that uh, trail before. What would you guys like to do now? Olaf, you know the way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah, he looks at uh, he looks at Tharkul. He's like, um, he, he goes over what he he says. You know, I think these Reachmen might be dabbling or worse in necromancy. Um, and the sun was riding the barrow. Over and over. I don't know if uh, if Tharkul would be able to read or not, but um... Um, Tharkul, I think, I think it's the what they said is that if you've got at least a point in lore, mm -hmm. um, uh, which I don't know if either of you guys do actually. No, I am untrained actually in yeah. lore. Yeah. Okay, but if so, if I was untrained in lore, would I have even been able to read that? I think you would. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. For... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, we're stuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, um, he, so he says, my advice: uh, these barrows have lots of traps. Um, d did you say guardians as well, or no? Just, just traps, or there can the Draugr have not uh, the um, <clears throat> the dead who occupy these uh, places uh, have not been known to. They have been known to sleep unquiet uh, yeah. at times. So okay, so yeah, he Thunkel's marches, uh, axe yeah. comes from a similar uh, okay. location. Barrow, where he so as Bit he's of describing a panic attack, this, yeah, yeah, as he's describing this, uh, you're probably going to get better and better uh, idea of exactly what's there. And given that these um, Reachmen are probably trying to raise more of them, um, well. You can see what it is. My advice, I don't think we can, I don't think we can go in, gun, yeah, guns blazing, uh, go in, uh, uh, you know, charge in or anything. I'd say we scout it out and see what kind of activity we see, because I'm not sure that two of us alone can do what needs to be done. But I think it's, I think it, I think it's my responsibility at least to determine what's going on and report back. <laughs> so we go investigate, but we yep. caution, we're we cautious, basically, is yes. what you're saying. Yes. That makes sense to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not sneaky, but you know. <laughs> uh, you, you're novice in stealth, so that's not... Oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay, I'm better than I thought You can't be a successful raider if you're uh, yeah, true. trumpeting your arrival. So why don't you each give us a stealth check, please? Okay. Just to give a sense of. Um... <laughs> okay, I'm not bad. I'm an apprentice. This is something I can actually do. Oh my goodness! Uh, what am I? Just... What am I? What am I aiming for? Under agility? <laughs> uh, yeah. It'll be either agility or perception, depending on how you want to describe how your character is approaching At this. At either rate, we got absolutely crushed on those rolls. I'm going to be uh, using a luck. Okay. If, uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll follow suit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that I might be using as many luck as I need to at this stage. Because I figure... <laughs> um, let's try that one again. Oh, nice. there you go. There we go. That's nice. Oh, that was a perfect use of luck. Okay. Yep. So then, guys, let me show you. What, hold on. Uh, Olaf, do you. Is your stamina points three or four? My stamina points four. Are... Okay, I thought so. Yeah, four. Yeah, so hold up. I'm just going to update your yellow dot there because you mm -hmm. should have four points, not, uh, not three yeah. points. 
So I think the way that Olaf probably approached this was, of course, you had the the more obvious path going up, and he's like, you know, I think knowing, kind of knowing where the defenders, if there were any, would be looking out, he's like, I think right about here, this curve of the road, we need to yeah. swing around. And it looks like there's a hill up there that we can then see down onto. But are hidden by woods. So let me show you. Well, there's very. This is definitely above the tree line. Uh, so okay. let me show you where. Still some rocks that we could hide behind. Definitely. Look, uh, this yeah. guys is Bleak Falls Barrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can mm. picture there's an approach through a wide open valley with lots of little rocks and stuff, and we can picture your characters running from one to the other. The wind is blowing. Uh, the yeah. sky seems vast and open above you. And uh, as you're approaching uh, Tharkul, you would pick out uh, tracks, quite easily identifiable mm -hmm. tracks. There's a fairly sizable band of folks who are making their way up here. If you'd like to try and identify them, you can give us a survival uh, check. Yeah, if you have a suspicion as to who these people are, but... Yeah, uh, excuse me, but it always helps to confirm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. It is definitely mm -hmm. Reachman. And there's a, mm -hmm. probably a group of between 20 and 30 who have made their way up into here. <laughs> oh. But you're able to sneak your way up to the kind of the promenade or the large wide open area um, in order to spy towards the entrance, which is located in that alcove right over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. There is no sign of any living thing as you approach up here. There's so mm -hmm. many places where there are dark you know shadows uh where there are alcoves or you know mm -hmm. um, natural formations or little kind of um um places where the sun is just casting very very dark shadows or deep shadows uh underneath but you still don't see anything <laughs> living the only is sign of anything here? living that is a yeah. well leading far okay. far 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 <clears throat> down in there okay and, but what you can see, uh, Tharkul, the path leads up towards the doors leading into Bleak Falls Barrow, and they are ajar. Mm. Pulled open, and someone has placed something in there, a chunk of stone to keep the doors open. You guys now, clearly this should always be closed. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and if you sneak your way up towards the entrance, you need not make an observation roll to hear the sound of between three and five men speaking in that casual kind of, you know, I'm bored and I'm on guard or sitting around mm -hmm. a campfire kind of thing. But the thing is, you cannot understand the language. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, if you want, if either of you guys want to give us a lore check, you can add uh, or subtract 10 from whatever numbers you got there. The default uh, untrained in the character sheet is minus 20. In the game, it's minus 10. Okay. So it is, it, you'll compare that to your uh, intelligence. Okay. So see if you... Are able oh, to oops. nice. So that'd be eighteen. That's pretty good, mm -hmm. Olaf. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Hello. <laughs> I mean, it's a good effort. Uh, uh, third yeah. goal. That's absolutely amazing. Fortunately, uh, but not a crit. So the crit fail, crit success is going to be whatever <laughs> your luck bonus is. So crit fail mm -hmm. will be ninety six or higher. Crit success is uh, one to four for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, so, Olav, you're listening in, and I don't know, maybe someone told you at some point, or perhaps you had some other exposure to it, but this is definitely the language that the Reachmen speak with mm -hmm. one another. Mm -hmm. You rolled a good enough sneak, if you'd like to try and sneak in and get an idea of what's going on in there. <clears throat> the way that the light is flickering mm -hmm. inside on the walls, they have a fire going in there. Okay. Quick, quick question. Um, so they have the door prop open. Yep. Um, 
would the door be openable from the inside? Like, why would they have it open unless, or, or is there like smoke coming out that makes it obvious there? Uh, no, I mean, uh, the fact that there isn't smoke coming out suggests it might be a quite a big chamber inside, which might okay. not be a surprise. Uh, that might be yeah. an abundance of caution for Nord traps. The traps, okay. one of the um, long departed folks, this uh, adventure, our uh, tale takes place in the about uh, eighth century of the second era. In the first era is when the dwarves, the Dwemer, the deep elves, uh, they went missing. And the Dwemer mm -hmm. are or were uh, absolute mechanical geniuses. They could build devilishly clever devices using their technology that none have been able to replicate, although some can imitate it. And the Nords, for one, the dwarves had uh, strongholds all over the place underground in uh, Skyrim. And uh, the Nords adopted a lot of that stuff. So there's like almost steampunk level of... Uh, sophistication to the traps you can find in here, thanks mm -hmm. to in part due to the influence of the Dwemer, uh, as well as the, the the genius of the Nords. So what they may be concerned with is some kind of trap that would, if you close the door, it'll seal it behind you. Okay. He's uh, he's vaguely thinking. Okay, well, if, if we could just find a way to close this thing off, and he can't get out. Um, but he's yeah, he'll he'll go peek down with the stealth and. Try okay. to get a look without them seeing. So let me show you guys what you find waiting mm -hmm. with him. And we are right here. I'll shift ping you down to where you are because this is quite a large map. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's loading. Okay, here we go. Oh, so then, Jeff, I got all the um, braziers lit with... Uh, dynamic lighting sources within mm -hmm. uh, this morning. Okay, so here we go. This is where you oh, guys nice. So the light you're seeing come from behind you, that is the light from uh, outside. And okay. I think uh, Tharkul, let me just move you over here, Olaf, so you can see what Tharkul can see as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there are Reachmen. Okay. Now, let me clear this. I'm assuming we're not talking our way out of this. Uh, so I, no. Let me just mm -hmm. add tokens or your uh, turns in here. And I guess uh, yeah. I guess before we came down, it's like he was. He said, "Okay, are we good to do this?" Uh <laughs> yeah. So like, I don't want to force your hand here, guys. But uh, yeah. what what do you do next? The doors aren't busted open, but it is otherwise as you see in here, mm -hmm. which may bring back some uh, very specific mm -hmm. memories for you, Tharkul. Yeah. So before coming down, I think Olaf would have suggested the idea I had, which is like maybe we should just like close the doors and see if we could block them up. And so once we see this, he looks at Tharkul. It's like. He's like, hey, I mean, there's 30 I'm men, so like, unless you guys had some kind of yeah. heavy equipment to bring down yeah. the stone around you. Yeah. Yeah, okay, they'd get their way out. Okay, yeah. Um, so... Um, taking a quick look around, is there an obvious uh, exit from this room? What do you see? Where others could... Sorry, I, the turn order is on top of... Okay, yeah, it's pretty large. Let me uh, back this down. Yeah, for my screen, a uh, seventy-five uh, percent view is is giving me the entire room. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Fish. Okay, that gives the entire room. It does look like there's an entrance directly opposite us, or a, or going deeper. Yeah, going deeper. Yeah. Um. And yeah, he's um. He, and they, they are they like sitting? Are they? They're currently sitting around that campfire, okay. talking to one another but, and kind of chatting. Yeah. Their weapons are at hand. At hand, um, and we can move how fast? Like how many? Well, if you're going to start moving, uh, yeah. then we're going to drop into initiative because there is a. No, I know. I know. I'm, he, I'm trying to get an idea so that like he would know yeah. how long it would take. To so get you can there. measure you uh, the speed you've got in there. That is your uh, how many in meters you can move. Okay. Um, hold on a sec. I gotta find my speed. 
So like for here, uh, I can tell you you've got for uh, Olav, Olav has a speed of 13 and Tharkul has 11. Okay. And it is 13 meters to get to there. So without spending an AP, you could reach there in one round. Although remember, you don't yeah. want to be adjacent with your weapon, you would want to be there. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, um, he kind of looks over, and these are reachmen, so he's not too worried about uh, Tharkul um, at this stage. So he will go ahead and basically charge, try to catch them sure. before so let's they... Do this. Uh, I'm going to yeah. drop initiative uh, tokens for everyone. Would you guys each mm -hmm. roll 1d6 and add your mm -hmm. initiative modifier to it? And yeah. then enter that into the turn order, please. Where's my initiative modifier? Is uh, that the rating? Is that the init rating? Yes. You okay. plus 8 Mine's for today. Olav and plus 10 for Tharkul. <laughs> oh, plus 10. Okay. okay. Let me grab my stats for and my I need to add it to this. Okay. Oh, nice. Sweet. Okay. Can't, oh, there. Is that working? Got it. Awesome. 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 Okay, let me roll for these. So for the one, for the other. All right. And uh, he'll be using his sword on this. So. Okay. You got it. And. Okay. And heroes always go first. So I'm just going to tell you how uh, surprise works in this uh, because mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's got interesting uh, rules. So um, <laughs> surprise characters uh, don't roll initiative. They simply use their initiative rating and they may only use reactions uh, after their first turn has passed. So actually, hold on. They should have nine. And nine. Let me get that set up again. So, uh, and the way that works, remember, you can spend uh, some uh, of your AP on you. You need to spend at least one when your turn comes up, but you can spend um, uh, more if you choose. And there are certain things you can choose to do on other people's turn. Uh, so the reason that's important is because in this, it kind of means that there's a... Um, and there's an incentive for violence of action early on to blow those AP because they can't do reactions, including defenses, uh, in the uh, for, until after their first turn. So, they're cool. You're up first. Three AP. Olaf is about to charge in. Yeah. What would you like to do? <laughs> Okay, so I want to make sure I got my movement right. Your move is an 11, I think. 11. And is that's in meters and the map's in meters? Correct. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to use an action to move. Can I try to move with stealth or? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Uh, because we're, we're currently, they haven't seen us yet, correct? Like we... So one of the actions you could take uh, on a, as a secondary action is hide. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that just, it means it takes one AP and let me just see if there's any other Oops. requirements Okay, because I'm going to move, I'm going to try and move. Can I get past this rock or? Yep. You can move around it. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Diagonals count as one as eight, well. Nine, 10. So this is 10 to here. And it, I don't know. I'm going to try and hide behind whatever this kind of boulder thing sure. is. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So give us a uh, stealth check and I'll roll for their observe. I got a three. Oh, that's really, really low. Uh, what is your agility? 34. Damn it. <laughs> um. Oh, that sucks. Um, I'll spend a luck because trying to be hidden, I think, is worth it. Okay. To keep the advantage of not being seen yet. Okay. Come on, dice. Mm. Oh, exact same roll. Every time I use. Okay. I seem to get the same jump. 
So uh, you have two uh, more AP. So you get over there and you're trying to kind of, uh, you know, hunch down with your giant axe and maybe it hits up against the stone and they're kind of, eh, and they look over I'm and right. you can see that there are, uh, let's see, what can you see from there, Tharkul? Yeah, there is one Reachman Shaman and at least three other uh, Reachman uh, hunters or warriors or raiders. Yeah. The problem is I don't have enough movement to get all the way there. You could spend one AP to dash, which allows you to move equal to your movement oh, once again. Oh, okay. But, oh. Oh, I see. But then I'd have one left. Yep. Yeah, I might as well keep the... Oh, well, I only need one to defend, or can you defend twice? I can't uh, you, you have to spend one AP for each defense, and remember, you can spend once per turn, you can spend uh, one stamina point to gain an AP. And you have okay. five stamina points, you get stamina points back with a short rest. One one point back on short rest. Okay, I'll just, I'll just stay, I'll just have my axe ready and just like... Okay. So I'll use them. I'll use them for defense. If, I'm assuming they're going to okay. come in, and I'll move in next turn. Uh, they would have to get weapons ready and stuff like that. Again, like on in an ambush in this game, violence of action is is oh, definitely right. Okay, fair enough. All right. If okay, you give so them time to get ready and then... whatnot, they will have an opportunity to defend against your attacks. Whereas right now, okay, they so cannot. Then I'll, take... I'll fly in there. Okay. And just use up my actions. <laughs> so again, remember your range of your or the reach of your weapon is three it's, meters. You need to have right, them at a three I meter. To, yes, I have to be farther away. That's right. But you also have that talent. Uh, the where is oh, your... the one that I haven't used that like. Um... If you spend two action points to take a all-out attack, instead of getting plus 20 to hit, you can choose to hit um, two visible targets that are in your range as you right. sweep uh, your axe across. The problem is I don't have the AP for that this turn. So you could spend a I, stamina. Oh, yes. And that's the little dots? That's the dot, the yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, okay. let's just try and go all out. So we go... Four. You're racing over, you're trying to hide, and you're like, oh no! And leap over. So go yeah, ahead. Leap over the rock and swing my axe yep. at the two. And I can't defend, so go right ahead. Uh, okay. Just make it a hit. So here we go. So I don't get the bonus. You don't get the plus 20, no. But uh, that, I think, gets your strength. That's a hit. Uh, so that is, and then roll a second time because it is a superior weapon. You get to roll damage twice and take the better of the two. Right, nine. Oh, that all right. One's good. Now because they didn't defend, you also have advantage uh, on it. So you'll do an extra two points of damage, half your luck bonus. That's eleven. Um, yeah, that is uh, impressive. What is their armor rating? And what's your strength bonus? So it'll do 11 points of damage, plus they'll take five bleeding next turn. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, and there, here we go. Arm rating's only one, holy shit. So that is, look at this. Yeah! Yeah! And... 10 is actually enough to trigger their wound threshold. Uh, so you're, you're able to sev, oh no, you're able to zero. So you actually hit him in the head. Holy fuck. Um, that matters because, because you've wounded them, they have minus 20 to their actions. He succeeded his shock. Wow. Failed shock for the spellcaster as well, which means um, he he's lost an eye and both of them are stunned for the round oh no that's if he fails no 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 forgive me 
Yeah, so you hit both of them. Both of them are stunned because you've clarked them both in the head, and the spellcaster has lost an eye. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All okay, right. you're right. Violence is good on the first one. <laughs> <laughs> then it is... Um, here, I'm going to put the Yeah, axe. if he could focus after that, I'd be amazed. Uh, nice job, Jeff. Sorry, I was saying <laughs> stuff and I was muted. So. Uh, oh, sorry, Robert. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't looking good, up. Good job. Good Kay. job, Ed. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that is uh, Tharkul. You've done your turn. All right. Nice. Oh, sorry. Then, Olaf, you are up. What are you doing? You have three action points. Uh, oh, and one thing you remember, I mentioned to Jeff, if you've got something around that you can, like three pens, three tokens, three whatever, yep. mm -hmm. just to, that way it's, that's an easy way of tracking when you're, you know, when you've used up all your uh, actions. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Okay. Three, your move is free. First move is for free. So what would you like to do? Um, He's going right here. All right. Excellent. So you're uh, racing forward. And what would you like yep. to do? Three he AP. looks at the he looks at the uh, the guy with with an eyeball rolling around on the ground and he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> good job, and uh, he swings at. So, can I make a number of attacks up to my AP? You can make a maximum of two attacks per turn, and that okay. includes attacks for opportunity and counter okay. attacks. Okay, so he's going to first swing at the one who's hurt he's going to try to take him the, out the, the, uh, the shaman this guy right here yeah yeah i don't know he, look, he looks pretty creepy he's going to be like yeah okay, and I, mage, I, I will I tell you magic uh so magic <laughs> unless you've got some kind of specific magical armor or environmental armor that protects <laughs> against frost or fire or whatever yeah. magic ignores armor okay oh uh, yeah and does the do, do, like I have magic points, but does that you like, do, but you don't have it because that's because anybody can learn magic. Like if you pick okay. up, uh, if you okay. invest the XP in, okay. in learning the skills, I was wondering if there was like a defense or something that relied on that. No, no, <laughs> okay, okay, uh, all right. So, Although he swings this. cool actually is uh, innately non magical, he has one armor against all magica uh, attacks okay. and he gets plus 10 to resist. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's your, uh, the Orzimer <laughs> yeah. are descended from the elves, so it's a, it's a okay. legacy of that. So he swings the long sword. Yep. That a seems solid pretty good. All it hit. Yep. Now go ahead and roll a second time for superior. Um, and what do I? Oh, yeah. Okay, Just roll right. same thing, That's and we'll take the better of the two results for damage. Because it's <laughs> so you um, are going to. Uh, you will have advantage on this, but I'm assuming you're going to step down from partial to no armor so you can do an extra four points of yep. damage, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So that is eight damage. And oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, it's still there. Uh, yeah. oh, but he's bleeding. Uh, because of Tharkul's yeah. axe, he's going to bleed out next round. Okay, so I don't even have to worry about him. Uh, I can tell that he's pretty much gone. So yeah. basically on that swing, and then he comes back the other way for this guy. Okay. Um, Go right ahead. Um, and by the way, Jeff, one thing I said was those rolls made up for the earlier ones, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. All right, here's the other one. 49. Oh, okay, cool. The bleeding it. takes place at the end of the next turn. End of the next turn. Yeah, right, so they so have an opportunity gets... to try and uh, at like act as they're bleeding out. Uh, Forty nine. How's that compare to your strength? Fifty four. Nice. Oh, you fifty four. Mm -hmm. So actually, hold on. It's, it's plus five damage. I forgot your strength is fifty. Uh, that yeah. uh, Reachman, the shaman, okay. is dead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the second one, you're hitting the other guy. You can reach there. That is a yep. that is a hit. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and roll yep. damage. Again, or your second uh, for, for superior. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Come on. Mm. What was that? One? Okay, so that is That's really hard to see. <laughs> six uh, damage. No, you got uh, I had five. a three on the previous. Yeah, so yeah. that's eight. So here yeah. we go. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right, so you tag that guy. Uh, you have one more AP, Olaf. You want to do anything with that? Um, is there a way that I can do to make my... Uh to make it harder for him to hit me uh you can save it i mean you do need a ap in order to defend okay yeah he'll save it david okay mm -hmm. all right so then on their first turn they cannot do anything but at the mm -hmm. end of the reachman's first turn this one bleeds out for another five mm -hmm. um 
they are going to so three actions they're going to grab so the two in the back are going to grab their melee weapons actually the one in the very back is going to grab his bow because archers are always a colossal pain in the ass in this game so he's going to grab his bow and because he's not in range of anybody um he's going to spend so one ap to grab his bow one ap to ready an arrow he's going to use his movement to move a bit further down the corridor <clears throat> and then he's going to shoot at you olaf uh, would you like to defend? You can either block yeah. or evade against range attacks. Um, I don't have a good idea which is the better at the moment. Let's just uh, try block for kicks. Yeah, but block you can use your combat style because you you are yep. a sword board fighter. Evade would yeah. just uh, would I don't think you're particularly <laughs> strong with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Where do I? Yeah, you have no training. Oh no, you got novice. You got, so you'd use your agility. Against that. All right, yeah. so here we go. Um, I rolled a zero for my. Oh, actually, I rolled a critical. Shit. Uh, so, what three. I, so, go ahead and roll. Yeah, so, what do I roll to do the. Uh, combat style. Combat style. Got yeah. It. Uh, okay. And I want to be under. I guess any of them is fine, right? Yeah, really, really low. Ooh. That's a, um, what's your that's strength? Bad. My strength is 54, oh. so I fail. So oh. a, do you want to lock that? <laughs> um, I'm still at three. Yeah, we'll, we'll you do. Wait, am I saying three or two? Do you have three? You always start yeah. at four. Okay. Do we, um, we don't get one every half hour, right? <laughs> no, no. Unfortunately, you, <laughs> okay. you start the session with uh, your full lock with and it refreshes got. the start. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that again. Uh, so let's try one more time. Come on. All right. Nice. Wait, what's your roll? Eight. Oh, a 30 oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought... Okay. So, uh, you got a success, uh, which means you did block, but I got a crit, which means... Okay. How does yeah. it work when it's a block? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be funny if I was laughing at that guy for losing an eyeball and the same thing happens to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> Karma. Okay, so I, I am treated as if I had one more uh, degree of success. Ooh, okay, so then uh, you succeed, which is good. So I, I hit, um, but to, hold on, but degrees of success don't matter. Hmm. This, yeah, it's an interesting... Uh, oh, so I do gain an advantage. Ooh. So let's. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a forceful impact, and I'm going to reduce your BR by mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. um, on this. But I got to roll damage here. So you do because the long and the short, it's not a contested roll. So the fact that I got one higher doesn't matter. But for the, with the crit, I get an advantage. So I'll choose to apply it that way. Uh, I rolled. Uh, Four, uh, four points of damage. I take yeah. it. What's your BR on your shield? BR on my shield. Uh, hold on. Uh, BR shield is 10. Oh, nice. So the thing hits this. It's your BR is going to be a nine going forward. So okay. it somehow hits something on it that damaged it, but doesn't get through. So that archer mm -hmm. dude is done. Uh, the others, I need to spend one AP to get their weapons ready. One has an axe, one has a uh, lo steel longsword. Um, the one that is... They're each going to have to spend one point to arise so they don't take attacks of opportunity from you. Yep. And... Tharkul, you... Uh, let me think here. So, th th I'm just trying to figure out one, two. I think that you're too close there, Tharkul, for that one guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you should have been technically there in order to get him. One, oh, did I just two, step to the wrong spot? 
Oh, I just I, maybe it's the aura is displaying strange. But you oh be... yeah, because I thought they had to be on the edge of the circle, but they have to be like just right. Like yeah, that you need to be. Now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, your reach of your great axe is uh, three meters. Uh, what do I have your aura set to? No, it's set to three meters. I wonder if this is going to be here. That's a little clearer, right? Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay, let me do this for Olaf as okay. well. Um. That's easier to see precisely where the edge of your thing is. Um. Okay. So then, because I, th I thought I'm like, well, these guys are for sure. Let me see if I can get you in a place. There you go. There you you would have hit both then. Right? Yeah, because that's where the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so this guy's going to... Uh, one AP to, to arise, one AP to get his thing ready, and then he will... Mm, you've already spent a stamina point this round, Tharkul, so I guess he'll move in. Oh, he's done this round. He can't do anything. Never mind. Ignore me. He can't. He's done nothing. He's... Uh, mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> And I'm gonna check up the stun conditions because it's always different in different games. So, because I haven't had anyone stunned yet, hmm. immediately loses all remaining action points. Holy fuck! So yeah, he's done none of what I've said. He sat there. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy will get his thing ready. He will arise uh, to not get an attack of opportunity, and then he will swing at Olav. Uh, mm -hmm. Olav, have you spent a stamina point this round? I don't think so. No. So would you um, like to spend a stamina point to make this a defense, or you just want to take the hit? Um, he's going to spend the stamina point. You got it. So you block That's against that here. one, and you see this other guy bring this shield up and around. Mm -hmm. He's going to swing his uh, axe at you. I failed. So okay. So go ahead and make your, give your roll. Because you said crit uh, fail. It's combat um, stop. Okay, combat stop. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your shield gets in the way easily, but he doesn't even hit it, so I'm not rolling damage. Um, the shaman is dead, which brings us to the end of the round or the uh, next pass. Tharkul's got no AP left. Olav, you have no AP left? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, and nope. then um, I, no one else does. So that is the end of round one, guys. Round round two. Mm -hmm. So first, Tharkul, get, refresh your action points. You have three AP again. Yeah, okay, perfect. What would you like to do? Mm -hmm. uh, let's strike this guy here that's close. Okay. And is it one AP to just make a regular attack, or are you doing two to do it at all out attack? Get plus 20. Um, No, I, I do get... If I don't use my special thing, I already get plus 20, or no? No, no, no. It, it, what it is, the cleave ability or that cleaving thing, uh, instead of getting a plus 20, you get to hit two targets if you successful. Oh, I see. When you do the two points, yeah. spend. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay. So I'll just attack him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> what's it look like as you car cut down this stunned guy? Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's just like, you know, doe and, he you know, deer and headlights look, and I've just, you know, continue my spin because i mean i i clipped him with the the first sort of cleave yeah and i think i just spin right around and come back with the yeah. second blow yeah all right so mm -hmm. you still have your free move too you can move up to 11 this round uh would you like to move or spend another ap or both uh i'll move yeah and i'm gonna move so that i'm three away from the stairs here mm -hmm. okay because I could see a guy coming up. Wait, one. Well, that, that guy right? retreated back. Actually, he fell back and was firing arrows at Olaf. Yep. yep. Oh, okay. Uh then I'll just chase him. Sounds yeah. good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let me move the map. Yeah, I can get right to him. Okay. Oh, remember, you want to be at your range of your weapon, though. Oh, that's right. Oh, but he has a bow, and does he understand? Depends if I think he, because I think he might step back again. Hmm. He does seem to be out of uh, AP. Like he, he's extended himself. 
Okay, and I can spend more AP to attack again? Yep, so, yeah, definitely, because you still have two more AP. That's where you would want to be if you want to be in range to hit this guy. Yeah, so I spent uh, a second AP. Yep, and this will be your second attack for the turn. Okay, is there a penalty on the second attack? Nope, it just means you can't attack more than twice in a round. Okay. Is that a hit? <laughs> uh, that's less than my strength, yes. Yep, and then you roll a second roll time for superior. Roll another time to see if there's like a... Oh, no, it's all tens. Tens, but uh, so I'm, he could not defend, so I'm assuming you're applying your uh, advantage to do uh, armor, to uh, make it partial armor into no armor. You hit... Oh, no, because it's an axe. It's a splitting weapon. All right, yeah, so then weapon. that is 10. Look at this. Oh, I hit the wrong... What's going on here? There we go. All right. You clip nice. this guy. You still have one AP left. Do you want to do anything or you want to bank that? Uh, I'll bank that. Okay. I'm not sure that there's not more guys coming, so. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Olaf, you are up Olaf. now. Three, um, refresh your three AP. Yep. And he's going to swing. Well, okay, remind me, all out attack does what? Plus 20 to hit. Takes two plus action 20. points, but gives you plus 20 to hit. Does it do anything extra with damage? Nope. Nope. Okay, he's just going to do regular attack. Okay. Um, and... So, and let me... Uh, I cannot block, so... Okay. Go ahead. Or defend. Ah, oh, I barely missed it. Mm. Um, Would have made it. Uh, okay. He's going to spend a luck on okay. that one. So go ahead and re-roll. Sorry, and I should be at... That's weird. It shows two up here, but it doesn't show two on the bar. Uh, the token sometimes, uh, uh, depending on your connection okay. and whatnot, like it could be displaying incorrectly. Okay. I'm okay. showing as two on mine, now one on mine. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's hit a with hit. One. And he's rolled max damage, so yeah. Uh, okay. Eight. Uh, he didn't defend, so you have advantage. Uh, so that is thirteen. And my strength is yep thirteen. What's it look like as you take him down? Um, he's just, yeah, he, it, 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 this is probably maybe the most fluid that he's ever been. Like, he's just feeling it at this moment. Yeah. And see, seeing Tharkul just cutting through them too, he's like, yeah, we got this. And he just, he just brings her out. He actually kind of brings it up and like cleaves through the, yeah. kind of the head up to there. So. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, you have not yep. moved. Um, you can okay. move and you have, uh, one more AP. Yep. No, two more AP. Um, so you, you, two more AP. So yeah. let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, he's gonna try to get a little. So I guess I guess here's fine. Yeah, he was trying to get behind him, but does he have any? Um, so if this guy's out of APs. There's no. There's no uh, worry about just getting behind him, right? Nope. Like, I, can, I can move past him. I could yeah, spend he, a stamina point and gain an AP if I wanted a free yeah. strike, but he's got a bow on him, so it's not really anything you yeah. can do. Yeah, he's going to... And I don't think there's any... There's no flanking oh, yeah, there. there's or anything like that in the game. I know, but he, he just wants to make it hard, harder for this guy to, like, get um, get away from them. Okay. <laughs> so, and then he, he kind of, like, runs past. And this, you know, the guy's probably focused on Tharkul, and he takes a he takes a swing as he goes past. Go so right that's ahead. his second... Uh, that is a hit by Wolf for Superior. I can't defend. Hmm. Uh, so six okay. plus be 11. Uh, five. Okay. And that is another Reachman down. <laughs> yep. So as he drops, <laughs> and this falls into silence, <laughs> two things you hear. One is chanting of uh, many voices that's echoing down the corridors coming from deeper within. Not good. If you listen for a second, not clear whether the sound of your battle has alerted anyone yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why don't we yeah, do this, chanting. guys? Why don't we take our mid-session break now, mm -hmm. and then we'll come okay. back and see what you guys will choose to do next. So sure. for those listening at home, we'll be back in about five minutes. Mm -hmm.
Okay. We are back. So. Oh, we're waiting for Robert here. Neither of you guys have taken a hit yet. No, that went smooth, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm never confident that's going to continue. Yeah, yeah. There we go. You see what I mean about the violence of action, though? Of like, just, if you, yeah, if you yeah, I know. To... I, totally, I totally get what you're saying now. It's like, in that first round, yeah, you have to act early mm -hmm. like when they're uh, when the others are acting more and are able to take re reactions right away uh if you're ready like normally you start the first round with everyone having action points um and they're able to spend them however they want so you can have defenses and stuff but if you do get the drop on people and they're not able to defend that first pass it's really worth going around and beating the shit out of them if you can mm -hmm. that stun effect is fucking awesome too and the oh yeah mm -hmm. Especially when you get that ambush round. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah, Olaf. Olaf comes up to uh, Tharkol after all that. And he's just like, I don't know what the equivalent of the high five would be, but he just like he, he brings, <laughs> he brings, he brings he <laughs> Tharkol's, Tharkol's shoulder. Nice. <laughs> like, yeah. Nice job, man. Okay. Let's take these guys. Yeah, his blood <laughs> is definitely pumping. He's like, how many there actually are. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the weaponry among them, the iron broadswords, the you know partial fur armor, um, the iron longbow. None of this stuff is particularly of interest, but uh, there is one potion of rejuvenation and a potion of. Uh, vigor on is it vigor on the uh, shaman yeah oh, sorry vigorous healing and vigorous replenishment so neither of you guys are casters so the mana point re uh, re restoration is not useful but there is a potion of vigorous healing which would restore eight uh, hit points do either of you wish to take that oh you're muted again uh, Robert or at least I can't hear you I would I would say Tharkul should probably have it, although he has you have more hit points, don't you? Uh, um, health hit points. He does. He's uh yeah. He is built yeah. sturdy. <laughs> yeah. And maybe Olaf should have it if they discuss that. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. okay. Still and we have... and you still have one, right? I think you each have uh, two. Uh, yeah. You should each yeah. have two to start. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you each have two to start with, so you'll have three then, Olaf. All, All right. right. So what would you guys like to do next? Um, in spite of the bloodlust, he realizes that running in <laughs> probably isn't the good idea, so he tries, to, he tries to be as sneaky as possible again and using his knowledge about barrows in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he also so, figures that if he's in the lead, he can, if he sees any undead, he can kind of hopefully warn Tharkul in advance so that he can okay. fortify himself. So you can, as you can see, the light that you're viewing from within here, this all comes from uh, the... Uh, oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, this all comes from the uh, braziers that have been lit. Uh, there's a old like tarry oil that's in there. Um, there's the smell of pine uh, coming mm -hmm. from them. Oops. You, if you wish to light a torch, torch will give you a, a ten meters of uh, radius mm -hmm. of uh, light, but it will make it mm -hmm. that it's obvious when you are approaching. Yep. So you let me know if you guys wish to light those. Mm. But can either of us see? Uh, is there night vision or anything like that? Night vision is a thing. It is only the I believe it's only the Dunmer elves, uh, the okay. um, elves from uh, the province of Morrowind, who actually yeah. can see in the dark. <clears throat> He's going right now. He's not going to just to see if there's any other light along the way that you know. Yeah. So basically, he's going to go as far as he can on the light that's there and hope that there's more light along the walls somewhere. Because after okay. all, these are these are uh, the, these men should you know if they want to see in the dark. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. They're going to have to have light. It's likely why they lit all the braziers. Yep. Yep. Along here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> and what you can see, these are burial alcoves that mm -hmm. you're passing. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, do any of them... So, uh, in general, the alcoves would have the body, or would there be like a sarcophagus of yep. some sort? Have, or... uh, bo some have bodies laid out, for, uh, just the, the bodies themselves. Some have, <laughs> you know, uh, some are better preserved than others. Um, okay. The, this early in the barrow, it is likely this is the lesser uh, folk. Okay. And uh, what is... <laughs> You also, Olaf, are aware that some things, the dead sometimes uh, do not lay resting when uh, the living disturb them. So, yep. from what you can see, these are in place and they do they do not seem to have been disturbed mm -hmm. by uh, whoever passed through here, but you definitely are moving in the land of dead men now. Okay. Got a glance at Tharkol to see how he's holding up. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel good after what happened there, but if there's many more of them, it could be very scary. Yeah. All right. So he's going to turn the corner. Okay. Near the, near the procedure. The, um, and come down. He glances okay. over his shoulder once he reaches about here, just to make sure nothing's moving in the alcoves. Okay. Let's see. Okay. They seem to remain yep. in their seemingly endless rest. The chanting, I know, it, I know, bear, I know, um, underground plays tricks and everything, but does it feel like it's close or like from a? It's it, uh, the way it's you still a it was moderate. A distance. It seems like it's okay. still a moderate distance off. Okay, so he comes down here into the middle. Yeah, looks both ways. Why can't I see anything further? You don't want to wanna either scroll down or scroll out a bit. That hallway <sighs> directly ahead of you is in pitch blackness, but okay. um, can you see this now? Yes. That light, so there's light down is there. coming from a corridor to the north from there. Yeah. Um... He doesn't like that. So he pauses for a moment and he listens very carefully. Give us an observe check, please. And yeah. I'll, I'll give you a plus 20 to this. So subtract okay. 20 from the number that you roll. So 33 okay, so versus 33. your uh, perception. How does that? Perception is 38. Nice. You can hear the sounds of at least two, possibly up to four men speaking in that same... Mm -hmm. Twisted tongue of the Reachman. Okay. About but, 20 meters ahead of you, somewhere in the corridor. 20, somewhere in the corridor, okay. So they're in complete darkness then. No, no, to the north. To the north, okay. Yeah, there is a corridor. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, he was making sure that there was nothing in this black space before he went through it. <laughs> as far as you can tell, but I mean, yeah. the way the lights are, it really yeah. um, emphasizes yeah. just how fucking dark it would be if these braciers weren't lit. Okay, so he's moving a little bit through. If there's anything in here, tell me to stop. Yeah, uh, He's gonna come right to the, gonna come right to the edge here. Okay. He's gonna like just poke his head around the corner. Yeah, the sound of those voices are getting louder as you mm -hmm. go in that direction. Okay. Does he definitely reach me around there? Okay. Okay. So he's gonna just try to poke his head around the corner. I think. The so I, I think I have it set up. If you pick your token up and you sort of move it just to the side without setting it down, I think you might be able to see that corridor. No, it doesn't work. Doesn't work that way. Okay. So then go ahead and set yourself in the corridor. Yep. Okay. So he just still doesn't see anything. He waves. He waves. Uh, Tharkul on. Yeah. Okay. Now, would you each give us a stealth check, please? Mm-hmm. I got one luck left. Um, I think I'm needing that for the big fight. Yeah. 55, except if we alert them. <laughs> Stealth is based on, yeah. Um, uh, agility, I think, while we're moving. Yeah. yeah, agility or perception. I only have one left. Um, I know, me too. I mean, that honestly, that ambush, getting the ambush was huge. Yeah. Then you said fair, how many did, how many do you think I heard? Between Kev? two, two four? and four. Two and four. <sighs> so probably five. Because <laughs> there's gonna be some who aren't talking, I'm sure. Mm. Ah. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> The problem is we both need to make it. What's your uh what's your agility? Uh well my pers 
perception is a 46. Yeah. My agility I, is only, well, it's a 34. They're very close. Yeah, 38 and 35 for me. Odds are one of us is going to fail. <laughs> I'd rather... True. I mean, yeah. yeah, if you look at just the odd, the straight up yeah. odds, there is a yeah. good chance that one of us will fail. Yeah, I think we I think we have to take what we got. Okay. <laughs> Would you hopefully each... They just, hopefully they just think it's like a rat or something. Would you each kindly uh, give us a 1d6 plus your initiative bonus roll and then yeah. add that in. Yep. Uh, slash roll. Oh, <laughs> I can actually six. type it. Good. Okay. Um, I get to actually roll initiative this time, guys. Hey, I'm the same. Very excited. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 12 for a lot, 15 for third cool. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here, that was... And there we go. All right, so third cool. You were up first. What would you like to do? You hear, I think what's happened is you're moving along and maybe you stumble on a, like an overgrown root and your yeah. axe hits up against the inside and just rings down the corridor. Mm -hmm. ring, 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 ring. And you can hear it. Oh. They, they might think it's one of their own. You never know. Does it turn, <clears throat> excuse me, does it turn uh, both, like both ways and it's just in the dark over here or does the path go just this way? Just up. Uh, you cannot see actually in that darkened direction. Okay. Yeah, so it's on. I, I can't tell. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Go, oh, and then I see the torch lighting this hall. But it, this is just darkness this way, basically. Yeah, and so it's, it's difficult. It definitely the corridor seems to go in that way, but it's not clear how long. You could give right. us a. Mm, if you want to spend an action point, you could make an observe check. See if there's anything else, like maybe the airflow or the sound you know of your footsteps yeah i will spend an action point to observe that way yep. because no, that's a good call there's a great <laughs> uh uh we, we played skyrim a couple of weeks oh. or elder scrolls a couple of weeks ago um we had one where the the guys because of the dynamic lighting couldn't see there was a side passage mm -hmm. and there's undead who were coming out they're like where the fuck are they coming from <laughs> <laughs> um, so for this, I would give you a plus ten. Does a forty-six beat either your perception or your agility, or your, this would yeah. be your perception? Yeah, perception. That's exactly what I need. This only mm -hmm. goes down. You think maybe four, three or four meters, and then there's okay. Yeah, it's like an alcove or something. Yep. It's just a dark alcove. You yeah. just can't see. So you still have two more AP and whatever movement you got left over from eleven. Yeah, I still have. Uh... I think I moved four so far, or five. One, two, three. I moved five, six, seven, eight. I'll go to this. I'll go actually because of my range of attack. Yep. I'll move to here because then I'm covering the hallway if anyone comes down. Okay. <laughs> and I'll turn and, you know, hold up my axe like I've got the hallway covered. And uh, uh, the thing is, remember, look at Olaf. It's, it's not inclusive of all the area, just so I understand where you want to position yourself. You would be only able to hit that square and maybe that one or that one. So right. if someone I, but was... if I stop, oh, I guess if I stop here, yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah, there then, you I go. then I hit the ones, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can hit this one or this one, essentially. Okay. So that's uh, that means you've already spent one to listen. Uh, are you just banking your next two for your next pass? I think so, because okay. I look back at Olaf, like... Mm -hmm. Olaf, what are you doing? So if I go to here... Um... Then somebody might see me first, but then if they if they don't have arrows, they're going to come up, and then Tharkul should be able to hit them. So he's going to go right there, maybe here, because he wants to be able to hit two. Yeah, I think we're going to go right there. Okay. Okay. And then are you uh, are you taking any action? So remember, on your turn, what you need to do is either bank one AP to be defensive, to declare mm -hmm. an if X, then Y with yep. with one or more AP, uh, or just spend one AP and pass. Um, yeah, he's. you can only bank one. Uh, for, for You can only ready one action, basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's going to ready. If something comes around, um, if something comes around, he's he wants to... 
and he can swing and he can swing he would but he doesn't need to right because as long as i come within within the range he can use an opportunity no op uh, opportunity attacks are triggered by specific things like okay. moving right. out without yep. disengaging or trying to yep. use a range attack or casting a spell okay. or standing up without okay. a rising Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna bank one to basically attack if anything comes around the corner. Okay. And sorry, I, I didn't ask with you, Thurko. Was that your plan as well? Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry if that yeah. wasn't clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so he's waiting to. Yeah, just mechanically that we know because if they like if for whatever reason they fucked around and didn't come around the corner this turn and then yeah. we went through to your pass next, yeah. you yeah. would lose that AP. Because yeah. you're just gonna, oh, like, come I on, see. Yeah, come yeah. On. Okay. You know. Got it. It's yeah, the yeah. it's one of the fun risk rewards yeah, part of the of the game. <laughs> Yep. So there. then uh, yeah. you guys have banked. So then this guy. All right. The schlub for. <laughs> uh, he is going to. You hear him say something to the others, and he's going to ready an action. And then. Well, you didn't see this, I guess. The Reachman. Let's see here. One. Two. This guy. Gonna guess a shaman of some sort. Three. <laughs> so he's coming around the corner, Olav. You have a readied action. And I think you can see that guy, right? Yep. Yeah, he'll swing. Go right ahead. Uh, so I'll have mm -hmm. to spend an AP to block or to parry. It's only it's only one AP, so we can't use the all out attack, right? That's right, yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, well, that's pretty damn good. Terrible. I failed mine. Okay. This is one of the downsides of playing a game where you got to roll low. I roll a lot of 90s. And so, yeah. like, last night I could not hit the guys with a fucking bear attack to save my <laughs> life. I mean, technically, it's saving their lives, but still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, that, yeah, that was a hit, and that's a uh, max damage. So, that's eight. Um, 13. Yes. Uh, 13 minus his armor. Um, so, look at this. Boom. Oh. Uh, that is a wound as well. You rolled a nine, mm -hmm. which because you beat his wound threshold with that. Nine hits the left arm. Uh, you need to make a shock check here. Uh, I failed that, which means you've crippled his left arm. No, you've cut off his left arm. Mm. Ooh. Ah! All right, so then, um, let's see here. I think I'm going to make him, she's got minus 20 to the actions. I am going to make him make a, uh, oh, he failed the shock check, so I guess she's stunned. So you've cut his arm off, and he's screaming. He's out of AP for the round. The other guy is going to look back at the uh, his companion and he's going to run around him and he sees you he will carry forward and then Tharkul you can make your ready to attack before I get to make my attack nice okay um, and I am going to try and parry so I'll have to yeah. spend one AP here um, I failed. Oh, nice. See, go Do ahead. Do I still roll twice for yep. damage? Yep, because yeah. uh, it's the nature of the superior... It's the nature of the weapon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There, one nice. of the, another neat thing, there's like a ton of different kind of <laughs> components you can use, and then also there's qualities. So you could have a mm -hmm. poor moonstone blade or a superior, you know, mm -hmm. uh, glass steel sword. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. 10... Plus, uh, okay, so it's nine. Oh, no, plus two because of your bonus. So look at this. He's going to bleed for five next round, too. Or the end of his next turn. Uh, so that was hit, but then he gets to finish his turn. Oh, and that's also a wound. That's also a left arm. Let me make the check for him. I failed again. You guys are cruising for left arm collection, apparently. <laughs> Ah! So another one has his arm hacked off. Um, Whoever's watching is just like, oh, what the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> They're losing <laughs> arms. All right. Uh, then it is, and I lose all my AP. Uh, Thar, cool. You still have two AP, I think. No, one AP. One AP. 
Uh, okay, so I can make another attack on him. Is that correct? Yeah, you've only used one so far. Yeah, okay, perfect. I will. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. I was going to evade. Uh, uh, oh, I have yeah. no AP left. Never mind. I don't need to reroll the damage nope. as that number turned green. Swap! What's it look like? What's the, what's the possible? <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like it's just like you know when you're you know he's like running and he's just ready for the fight and the the giant axe just hits him right in the guts and like you oh. know sort of knocks all the wind out of him and just knocks him to the ground. Incredible. Uh I think that's it of a that's all your AP, right? That is all my AP, yeah. Hold off. You have two yeah. left, I believe. Yep. He's gonna swing at <laughs> Sorry, this guy. Okay. Mm. Sixty-six fails. Um, <laughs> so that was the second attack. Um, so uh, I think you know, lock it or. Well, oh, that's right. I can lock it. Um, no, I'm going to hold off. Okay. I have a feeling we might be facing something a little bigger at some point. Okay. <laughs> All right, then it is. Uh, so he loses one AP because nothing happened for what he thought was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, he has seen two of his allies cut down. So actually, let me go. I'm going to move my speed. One, two, three, six, nine. <laughs> I'm going to ready another action. And he starts, you can hear shouting in uh, the Reachman's <laughs> tongue from further uh -huh. down the corridor. That's not and good. then <laughs> on this guy, he has no AP left. Does anyone have any AP left? Uh, uh no, I do not. Olaf. I have, I have one. Okay. But, so then um, Olaf, he kind of wants to see what's going on. He hasn't okay. heard anything other than that guy, so he's going to move past this fella. Okay. Do you have Let's movement see. left available to you? I think you do, right? Without having to dash. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he hasn't even moved. So uh, as soon as you move uh, to here, actually. Okay, here. Um, then this, uh, you see at the far end of the corridor, there is a shaman. Mm -hmm. He is going to um, unleash a firebolt at you. Would you like to try and block that? Yes, I would. So the BR of your shield is only half against magic. Okay. Um, I successfully cast my magic, finally. Okay, and so I nice. need to do combat style. Yep, yeah, so your combat style. Mm. That's a success, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so what? what is your, um, there should be a number in brackets for the BR. There isn't, uh, I just have BR nine. So half damage, you said? Or Ooh, half? it's nine, so it'll be four. So you're gonna have, uh, yep. break rating is four. So you're, you do get it up in way, but let's see if it, uh, Protects. Mm -hmm. I am doing 1d8 plus 3 damage with this. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. 1d8 plus 3. So it's possible your shield will stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh! 8 points of damage, which means your shield does not protect you at all. Neither does your armor against magic. So from the far end of the corridor, <laughs> there's this tendril of fire that comes down. You take mm -hmm. 8 points of damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ow. Then it is. You made me bleed my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be your red bar. Will be your health. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, then, okay. Olaf, you can. You only moved up there, and oh, and then you spent. You can finish moving if you like, or you could stay right there. Oh, um, sorry, I moved. Uh, da -da, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, okay. 11, 12, and 13. It's coming after this guy. Well, hold on. No, Is no, because no, you moved you, at the start of the turn, you moved forward in the quarter. You didn't have a full 13. Oh, oh okay. Okay, right? okay. One. Yep, that's right. Three, so just move four, yourself five. back four squares, basically. Yep, I did. Oh, yep. perfect, perfect. So you start running okay. down the quarter towards him. Yeah. All yep. right, then it is his turn. So he Does has... he get the sense? Is that the guy shouting, or is the shouting coming from somewhere else? Definitely okay. him shouting. Okay. okay. And he sees you Got coming. It. So <laughs> he is going to. Oof. Yeah. And he's going to fire another firebolt at you. Would you like yep. to spend a stamina point, take an extra AP this turn? Yes, I would. Okay. So it. then, yeah, give us a combat style for block. I successfully cast again. 
Crap. But you blocked. So, yeah. uh, again, four. four. Yeah, so as long as I roll, if I roll a one, <laughs> I did no. not roll a one. You take 10 points of damage. Oh. Oh. That's wow. wow. Fire washes across that. you. That probably should have been done, but I can reach him next turn. So. Hey. <laughs> then uh, it is. Uh, oh, he's out of actions, actually. And that guy is stunned. Tharkul, you're out of actions. I think everyone's out of action points, right? Yep. Then we're on to round two. So, mm -hmm. Tharkul, you get your three AP back. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, char obviously, charge around the corner to start. See what's going on. So one, two, three, four. Can I move through friendly squares? Through friendly squares, yes. Okay, three, five, six, seven. I can reach him anyway because I want to be here to hit him. Okay. So that was only your move. Uh, you have three AP. What would you like to do with him? You can see there is. You would see the after effects of this fire. This. Uh, mm -hmm. Reach Shaman or Reachman Shaman is just yeah. Like, so I'll attack this guy that I ran past there. This okay, He's, last guy. He is still stunned. So if, if you uh, yeah, I'll try to get rid of him so we can. That to less. Oh, what's your strength? That is one off. No. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my strength's a fifty-one. I rolled a fifty-two. Do you want to luck that? Uh, yeah, I will okay. spend my last luck on that. So I'll there is a thing of burning and... luck. Like you'll notice you have a luck stat. You can burn luck, but you oh, lose points permanently. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. So that is a hit, and that is going to be more than between that and the bleed effect. Uh, yeah. And my luck is gone for the day. Okay, you still have two more AP, and one more attack available. Anything <laughs> you'd like to do? Uh, yeah, I will dash. Okay. Oh, is it only half my move? No, nope, dash? dash is full move. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, because I can make it to here. I want him like that. Okay. And then I'll do my second attack. Okay. There we go. Uh, I have no AP to dodge and uh, no available stamina points. And that is another narrow miss. Oh, no! Oh. So he's he, just, I think, he's enthralled by the guy's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His ability is. The magic. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Olav, refresh your three action points. Yeah. And then what would you like to do? Mm. So tell me if this works. I can, I can move. Yep. I can quaff. What are the potions for, for two? Two AP, that's right, yep. And then I can attack him. Yep. Okay, that's exactly what he does. So Although you would want to make sure you put those in order, dr drinking a potion or readying a weapon or item or whatnot, that also incurs attack for opportunity. Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna drink the potion here. Okay, so that's eight <laughs> um, back. Yep, so he's up to 11. Okay. Which is still not good. Um, then he runs. Okay. Or not runs, he just goes to here. And he swings at this guy. Go right ahead. <laughs> and his and there's fire in his eyes yeah. at the moment. Understandably. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. That's um, not a we roll thing. Crit. That's no. better. Okay, so seven plus five with your sword. Uh he wasn't able to defend, which means you can have advantage on that. Yeah, so that's 12 points of damage. That's another wound. He rolled a one for location. Let's get another left arm. Yeah, I said. <laughs> collecting nothing but left arms. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. That's a body. Okay, so mm -hmm. I need to make a shock check. Uh, I failed. So mm -hmm. he is stunned. So you slam him in the body and he is <laughs> completely mm -hmm. out of... Uh, Oh, wait, hold on. Is that that? You know, body loses one action point. Um, okay. He's wounded, so minus 20 for his actions. Uh, and he has the crippled body condition, which is... Okay. Okay. 
organ damage. So he's actually at minus 30. <clears throat> minus 30 for his action. So you uh, race forward and slam into his chest. You can hear something, uh, a bunch of ribs break yeah, and pull your sword back. Um, you could technically spend a stamina point to get another AP and make another attack if you'd like. He's stunned. He won't be able to do anything this turn. Oh, so he's not stunned. Like... I misspoke. He wasn't hit in the head. Oh. So when you're hit in the head is when you're stunned. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he'll, yeah I'll do that. Okay. Why not? Uh, I can't uh, defend whatsoever, so just uh, make sure it's a By good the way, hit. His stamina is, I believe, sorry, I didn't remove the stamina the last time, so he's down to one. Down to one stamina point? Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Let me just... Oh. Yeah, perfect. Make and sure then... I do that. There we go. Ah. <laughs> There you go. Okay, click Go outside. ahead and make your attack. Come on. There nice. you go. Go ahead and roll for superior. And mm -hmm. that is one dead Reacher. What does it look like as he take him down? Um, he's a little pissed at seeing his own blood, so he's just like... <laughs> he, he, he takes a sword, he just brings it straight down on the guy's head. Yeah! <laughs> so, so, the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you're just uh, kind of exhausting yourself in doing so. You can yeah. hear the sound of at least five people in a room not far from here. The chanting stops, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, like, burr, 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 murmuring from a room mm -hmm. ahead of you. So we're gonna stay in initiative order, but they're okay. just gonna be getting ready this round. Do you have any- from, Does 18... it sound like from this direction or this yes, direction? Yes, from uh, okay. straight to the north, to the north. Sorry, I should okay. just use the okay, cardinal yep, directions. Does Olaf... Olaf doesn't have any AP left. Does Tharkul have any AP left? Uh, no. I do not this time. Okay. So let's just start at the... To jump to the start of the next round. So we're round three. I'll assume everyone in the room has prepared things, got things ready, sort of talking. Yep. What is that? Did you hear that? All in reach one. Uh, Tharkul, you're up first. Three AP. What would you like to do? <laughs> Olaf looks to have been a little singed by yeah. that time. I sort of, yeah. But has, um, you know, he has two more of those uh, the healing things. So, yeah, <laughs> he's gonna kind of fumbling. I'm gonna run like this, and I'm gonna go. So one, two, three. So I'm gonna like run this way around this <clears throat> four, five, six, so that I can see. Oh, all I see is darkness. Uh, scroll up mm -hmm. or out. This one you oh, may wish to be about that 50, way. Yeah, oh, fifty yeah. percent okay. to the north. Yeah, yeah. Mm, do I see like weapons? Oh, I see another one of those shaman type dudes. Yeah, we do. Uh, I do realize I need to close the distance. So, so these guys are. You can see what's here, um, uh, Jeff. That's the start of stairs that eight. go up in that direction. These yeah. guys are about uh, ten feet up in the air on a platform where those big statues are located. You could always duck back. I can get to here. Oh, there's tons of them. Now I can see. But you're in perfect darkness too, Thurkel, so that will actually impact your ability to hit you. Oh, yeah. So it probably makes a lot of sense for me to stay there. Okay. So um, <laughs> you haven't spent any AP yet. Do you want to bank one for defense or do you want to uh... set a contingent action? Remember your arrows. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to set a yeah. contingent action that if someone comes towards this darkness, like approaches, I'll, I'll attack them. Okay. I then, think it makes the most sense. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, then it is Olaf. What would you like to do? Olaf uh, does another one of his um, uh, regen regeneration potions. Yep. Uh, he's up to 19. Okay. And he goes, then he takes his move. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um, he doesn't see. Scroll out to yeah, maybe about 50%. No, I see it. Eight. Oh, you see him? Okay. I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I go about the right nine, ten. So he's right here, and he probably almost bumps into a third cool. Yeah. 11. <laughs> Uh, and he moves up to here, still in darkness, I believe. Yep. And now he looks around. Um. Yeah, he's going. So there to... is a lever in the middle of the room here. There is okay. a gate 
that uh, if you guys ma manage to make it over there, you will see you can see through it, but you cannot move through it. Mm -hmm. This goes up about five feet, five feet to a 10 foot platform where mm -hmm. there are these three statues and there's a shaman and a reachman. Looks like there are two shaman in here. Yeah. Likely they were doing the chanting. Did it did it sound like more than like when they were chanting? Did it just sound like a couple, or did it sound like about five or so? Mm, this sounds like it is probably close to okay. how many? No. But... Okay. Yeah. So basically, all of them would have been chanting, probably, yeah. if they were. Okay. Um, and I assume that if I if I do the bow and arrow, the next round I would have to spend an action point switching out for a sword. If well, you would have attack. to do that. I mean, like, you, you have a sh sword and a shield. Remember, this happened right yeah, after yeah. that fight with that, yeah, so yeah. you would have right, to... Right. You, yep. It's a free action to drop stuff, but you'd have to drop them to the ground, Yeah. then, then ready a bow, keep... then notch yeah, an he's... arrow. He's going to keep the sword. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can and... make it a running fight if you wish, right? Like, there's... One of the fun things with this, the uh, measuring it on, on a ramp around thing is you can try and like retreat a bit and try and change things yep. over. That, yep. we, yeah. we had uh, the last time we played with this uh, map, we actually had a fun kind of like running fight as someone tried to run away yep. and someone else went running after. Um, so far he's feeling pretty good, he's, but he's gonna put a, uh, yeah, so he's gonna spend his last AP to basically, if anything comes within range, he's gonna swing at it. You got it. Yeah. All right, so then the shamans. All right, so for, they will try and spot. So they're going to have minus 20 this because of the shadows. Um, that one does not. So wasted time on that, and then he's going to bank an action um, as a contingent. And then the other one is going to try and spot. He succeeds. So... I'll move him over here. And you can picture white face paint, the big, you know, head dress, and he's kind of... <laughs> and then cast something in your direction. We'll use a shock bolt this time. By your, you mean Olaf? Ooh, I'm going to roll random. Uh, it's okay. here. Yeah. Um, Olaf, you'll be uh, evens. Uh, Tharkul, you are odds. I rolled odds. Mm -hmm. So, Tharkul, you do mm -hmm. have an AP left. Would you like to try and evade here? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can treat your evade as uh, 20 higher than normal. So, and what do you roll? So, you roll and then just subtract 20 from whatever you rolled. No, no, but what stat do you roll? Uh, evade, you, there should be a skill. Evade, and then you're going to use it against agility. Oh, there is a skill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I <laughs> successfully cast my spell. Oh. Nice, nice. I, but I got a five for my... Evade is a Ooh. contested roll, but... But, but, but... Um, oh, and you get a one. All right, but Tharkul, but you would get plus 10 to try and evade magic, uh, and you do have, what, one armor, I think, against magic? Because uh, as an yeah. awesomer. Nice. That's what okay. you said, yeah. Yep, so here we go. So the bolt, I do um, seven points of damage, but you only take six because of your awesomer nature. <laughs> and then that is it for them. The others, let's see here. This guy, I think, is going to spend one to try and spot, and then that'll be it for him. He fails. This guy is likewise going to move over here and try and spot. Fails. These two, uh, one has a sword, one has a shield, uh, a axe and shield. <laughs> Um, he's going to move up here. So if anyone wishes to... you Oh, uh, Tharkul, did you, you had a ready to action as well. You want to tag this guy? Oh, he, yeah. He's moving into range. Yeah. Okay, so I will um, spend my thing to try and block. <laughs> I succeeded, but I got a... Z oh, I, so uh, go ahead and roll your second one. Let's see if... I got you a one. 
Uh, so this one actually block. You just remember this is the one where if I succeed, oh. I block what we compare break rating. Oh, and okay. the shield's break rating is halved because it's an axe with a shield splitter feature. So that oh. is six is your best roll. Um, yeah, not a great roll. But... No, but it's a shit shield, though. This is an iron shield, which means I have four. So that gets through it. Ah, you do full damage. <laughs> that is six. And because I succeeded, you don't get the advantage on it. So it'll just be... Um, Let's see here. Five damage, and then he's going to take five bleed next turn, or at the end of his turn. All right, so you triggered well, that. Uh, then he is going to finish his move in. And I think I'm going to let him attack you. Uh, Tharkal, do you, you still have AP left, I think? Would you like to try and parry or uh, evade this? But Olav also has an uh, action to swing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stuff. You got a ready one. So go ahead, Olav. Yeah, you want to make that attack now? Yeah. Yes, I okay. would. I will block this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I succeeded, miss. so it's roll damage. Mine's a miss anyway. Uh, oh, I hit combat style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so go <laughs> ahead and, go. Roll. That's and roll with superior. Mm. Okay, so seven. Uh, <laughs> that's unfortunately not <laughs> enough. Uh, okay. So his shield, <clears throat> iron shield manages to block that, mm -hmm. um, which means leaves him with one. He's going to keep that. He's going to fight defensively. But then the guy with the sword, he's going to move in. And he's seen both of you guys attacking, so we'll do the same thing. Uh, maybe they're racist, but they're going for the Orzimer uh, again. Mm -hmm. uh, Tharkul, do you have any AP left? Uh, yeah, I believe I... Oh, wait, I... No, I don't. Readied... Uh, so you did your attack... You block I defended from I think the you won, evasion. I, I think you won left. Oh yeah, I didn't that's right. I didn't do I didn't do one on my turn. I just moved. Yep. That's right. So I do you want that. to evade or parry? Parry is minus twenty with your No, oh. I'll try to evade. Okay, go ahead. Uh this is contested. I got a two. Two, okay. Um you evade. There it is. Oh, Nope. Nope. Okay. So I have advantage, which means I'll step down the damage. You take uh, six points of damage, but subtract your four armor. <clears throat> okay. So, so I take two. two. All right. Uh, and then that is it for the Reachman Tharkul, or for their first pass. Do you have any AP left, or do you want to spend stamina to get an AP? Um... Yeah, you know what? I think it makes sense too right now. We're down and it's a resource. Okay. So I'm going to do it and attack one of these guys. Okay. Put some fear into them. Oh, for... yeah. Uh, the one with the oh, shield. Oh, wait, they're too close though. Yes, but do you have any. Uh, oh, do you have any movement left? No. Oh, yeah. Well, technically, I mean, I moved 10 to get where I am because I stopped there because of the darkness. Yeah, then you could move one back if you choose. Okay, so you can just use that last piece of movement. Yep, you can use it throughout, oh. split it up throughout your turn. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, and let me see here. Do I get... Uh, I'm just going to see if... Ooh. Oh, I missed with well, max also, damage. Hold on, I actually... Uh, I'm going to trigger a reaction from one to do attack of opportunity on you. Oh, okay. As you're moving back uh, for it. Uh, oh, how about I not roll a D8 when I'm rolling my attack? Madison, you're a cheater. Uh, now, you could spend an AP to try and avoid this, if you like, or you just suck up the hit. Your call. Oh, like instead of making that attack, is yeah. what you're saying, because they attacked me. Yeah. Um... Probably I would have, yeah, I would okay. have tried to dodge. So going in with an evade check, uh, I got a two. And I'll give you a plus two to your evade. So treat that as a 34. Is that a success? Oh, which is, it's a success, but it's not better than a two. No, but you rolled a six, though. Because remember, you, you were not looking at the number on there. We're looking at the number you rolled. Oh, right. Okay. So a six is better. So yeah, you ah, duck out of the way. Um... You can also, because you successfully evaded, you could move one um, one extra meter for free because you got advantage. 
Oh. Um, well, no, they're perfectly lined up right now for my axe. Yeah, so. okay. All right, uh, then in range. that is, uh, unfortunately, out of AP. Olav, you haven't spent stamina this round, so if you, you could get one more if you'd like. Oh, you're muted, Robert. So, toast to Mo. What happens toast when you're out? So At zero? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Just means you can't spend it. But if you take further, if you do take any effects that affects that target stamina, you start getting mm -hmm. fatigue levels. Okay. Um, and what does panic do? Panic is uh, we roll on the combat fear chart, and depending on the results <laughs> on there. Okay. You figure your he, um, yeah. He uh, he has this little thing called war, uh, war cry, and he uh, comes in and he's. He's like, just shouts out, Defilers! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Perfect yeah. chamber it, for it, too, so it just echoes yeah. throughout. Yeah. And yes. is there a die. range? That's amazing. No. Um, no, it doesn't All enemies who hear you have to make a panic test at plus 30. Yeah. All right, so let me uh, start with... So let with... me remove his stamina. Okay. He's out. Right. Uh, so I have a 60 or less, so... Uh, Shaman at the top failed actually. Sh the other succeeded. Other Shaman failed. Nice. Other uh, succeeded. Succeeded. Failed. All right. So I need. I have three. Uh, who need? Uh, and I actually have the combat panic table open. So the Shaman at the top <laughs> is frightened. Cannot mm -hmm. willingly approach the object of his fear and takes minus 10 to all tests until they encounter. You have scared the shit out of him. The one on the nice. bottom who cast that uh, spell, uh, 74. Ooh, Likewise, yes, minus 10 mm -hmm. on other attacks. So any attacks against you are minus 10. Mm -hmm. And uh, cannot willingly approach you. And then the one that is facing you... Uh, <laughs> 99 breaks down with fear and runs fl uh, flees screaming <laughs> so you cry out and the one on the right there just th th tosses his axe to the ground unfortunately I think you guys are out of AP so you can't do an attack no. of opportunity but he will be uh, let me put a symbol on him to mark it but he'll be running away in terror uh, what would this be? There you go. Ah! <laughs> Excellent use of your war cry. Um, <clears throat> then the scared shaman has one more action left. He has minus 10 to his attacks, but... I'm just going to save it then for defenses because otherwise things could go wrong. And I have one more AP left, but that's used because I did bank it for defense. Okay. These ones atop here are going to move down and they're going to start readying actions. And then this guy will move here to block the stairs and ready in action. That is the end of round three, guys. We're on to round four. Tharkul. Fill up your AP stack, yeah. and then tell us what you'd like to do. I need to thin their numbers here to start. Okay. So, attack the one right in the far right side. Yeah, the one who's oh, panicked. He's, yeah, that uh, panicked. Well, we're, well, he threw down his sword. His axe. Oh, he did? Oh, okay, yeah. then I'll attack the one beside him. Okay. Um, I have one fair. block left oh. here with this. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to try. I failed! So that's hit with damage. advantage. So that's yeah. 10 damage. A roll for superior? Or did you do that already? Uh, No, I didn't. Yeah, I did 8 damage. 8 damage, okay. So that's oh, yeah. okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> so it's 10 because of that. So look at this. And he's going to take 5 bleed. You hammer him. Uh, you still will move, and you still have two more AP, where you can pass. Um, I'm not gonna move. Uh, 
Actually, I'm going to attack that guy again with okay. the second AP. Okay. Oh, nice. but it's a mess. Oh, but you failed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all the damage. Like, oh. That's good looking damage. All right, so you swing. Uh, you still have one more AP. Yeah, I'm going to keep it for defense. Okay. I feel like my position is great here with them sort of like at the edge of the hallway and being in the darkness here. So I don't know if I really want to move. Okay. Then it is uh, Olaf. Refresh your three AP. Yeah. And, what and was he's going to take a swing at the guy in front. Try okay. to move him out of the way. And the injured one, you mean? Yeah, the injured one. Okay. Yeah. Not the not the one running away. That would be counterproductive. Uh, Oh, come on. That's one miss. You have one There's... lock left. Do you want to lock that? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay. So, oh, 55. I think that's a miss. What's your strength? 54. Oh, no. <laughs> so close. <laughs> All right. So, that's one AP. He's going to do another AP to attack this guy. Okay. It's a second attack. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is where that all out attack can be useful sometimes if you really need to get yep. the hit. Yeah. Um, that that well, is a hit. The hit. Red roll superior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's enough to take him down. Yeah. So staggered back by Tharkul and you just ugh, slash out. Yep. He is down. You have one more AP and you have your move. He's, he's going to do the same thing as. Um... That's Thar cool. He's going to save his AP for defense, and he's going to Got stay it. right where he is. So technically, yeah. just so you guys know the difference, if you so um, if you're not doing anything else and you're banking one AP for defense, you wait till the start of your turn. If you didn't have to defend, you lose it. Right now, you guys have spent AP, so you're technically not having to bank it. You you, you can tactically yeah. say, "Oh, I'm going to save it for maybe a defense," which you're free to right. do. But you don't have to put it up like a, as a stake the way you do right. if you're not doing anything else. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's not it's fucking splitting hairs, but just so you understand how like yep. if there was a bit of a standoff, that's how you'd have to make use of that. Like yeah. I will tell you, before you guys moved in, that uh, the shaman uh, in the corridor, he lost one AP because he was readying something, and then nothing mm -hmm. happened during his turn, so he had to spend another AP to to mm -hmm. get another one ready. All right. right. So speaking of shamans, all right, the one on top is going to. Who he has spotted you guys, so well he spotted Tharkul technically, so I think he's gonna um he's gonna toss another shock bolt <laughs> lightning down that corridor. Mm -hmm. So uh Tharkul, would you like to I think you've got two AP left, right? You wanna evade one of those? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I succeeded in my casting, even in spite of the uh, f terror. I only have oh, one the two, left. With the two. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that is a two, and ties go to the defense. So it's oh late. God. <laughs> goes down the corner, <laughs> you slam yourself against the side, and it uh, you can f feel the hair on your arms and your, your head <laughs> kind of stand up with the lightning bolt, but it narrowly misses you. Mm -hmm. I'll spend a second AP to cast again. Um, Tharkul, do you... I think you have two left, don't you? Because you did one attack first, and then... <laughs> You, oh, did I only do one attack? I think you only did one attack, or did you miss with the second yeah. one? No, I missed, yeah. Uh, no, okay, I attacked yeah. twice, yeah. So do you, want to, <laughs> do you want to spend a stamina point to get another AP and try and evade this? Yeah, okay. I think I will. What happens if I'm out of stamina? Just means you, like, if you do take something that damages stamina, you'll take fatigue levels. Oh, okay, I okay. see. I get it, yeah. Okay, um, I succeeded with a... Uh, oh, it's a crit. Shit. So you have to get Damn a crit it. on your evade. Come on. All right. Uh, that means you have to match the numbers, right? You have to roll a zero, uh, four or less on the dice. Oh, it's 18. Good roll. Uh, it's a good yeah. roll, but unfortunately, uh, I do. It's not uh, enough. Crit. Yeah. And, uh, oh, this is the first, second time uh, George got to. Uh, a crit effect. So because 
Um, you're suffering a wound as a result of this. Oh no. So the it strikes you right in the body. Would you give us, but you are an orsimer, so you get plus 10 to this. Would you give us a an endurance check, but at plus 10? Oh, that's a stat. Yeah, stat. So you'll be rolling just a D100 against a 60, 6 zero. Okay, oops. And you're tough. 1D100. Oh. Do you have any luck left? No. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Do I? So this is where you could. No, I don't. You could technically burn a point of luck. You'd reduce oh. your luck stat by one permanently and re -roll. Like by one of the 43 that it has? Exactly. Because the luck yes. points you start with each round are equal to the tens digit. So you do have a little bit of wiggle room in your I stat? I do have a little. I think I would to yeah. try. Okay. Because this seems like a, a key moment here. Okay. <laughs> So go ahead. Go. You just need a six zero or less. Okay, so come on. No. Oh, oh no. It. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, so then, um... oh, that's interesting. I, I thought it was it would be stunning, but it actually doesn't. Um, so you take to your body, you'll lose one auction, uh, action point. You'll have one less action point next round because you've got none left right now. Um, oh god, so let's roll damage first. Um, it'll be minus one to this. Mm. So you take uh, 10 points of damage after the reduction for your Orzammer armor. Uh oh, and um, you are, oh God, it cooks your fucking, uh, organ. So you're at minus 30, uh, to actions right now. Oh, as this God. cooks your gut. Uh, and you are uh, going to be healing at half speed right now. God damn. Tough hit. All right, um, then the one on top is going to try and spot you guys once again. Fails. God, he's going to have to try again, I guess. I'll move him over here. Uh, fails again, and final one. Just can't manage to see who where you guys are. Then the other guys. So, uh, Ola, do you have an AP left? No. Okay, so then you can't attack this guy as he runs screaming over to the gate and first tries to get through that. And Actually, he's... He de sorry, he does have one because he was holding for defense. Yep. So you could yeah. do, uh, you could uh, make an attack of opportunity. This guy's running away. Yeah. Does anything else look like a threat at the moment? Yeah, yeah. There's um, still uh, two yeah, more. No, he's going to hold his AP. Yep, you got it. The guy's running. Okay, so then this guy, uh, he yells something up at the other guy. <laughs> The guy on the top there is going to put his sword down, uh, okay. or drop it to the ground, draw his uh, his uh, bow, string his bow, and ready an arrow. So this guy, he's got him. The guy on the stairs has a um, bow and arrow set out right now, and this guy has a spear, and he'll move here. Uh, it has a reach of three. Uh, so he's going to try and see you first. So I got to spend an AP. Uh, cannot see. So I have to spend another AP. So, oh, yeah, there we go. So I managed to spot you, but I only have one left. Olavi is going to try and spear you. Okay. Okay. Um, Do you want to oh, you. Have no stamina left. You got no AP. Oh, you do have one AP left. No, I do have one AP. Yeah, yep. you want to block or you want to parry? Um, or, or, how many times have you attacked this round? Once or twice? Two. Okay, so you can't counterattack. Because I missed the first one. Yeah. Um, I am going to 
I don't know, blocking just hasn't felt right. right. We're gonna try parrying. Okay, so that's contested roll. Um, that's, that's combat style. I got a critical fail. Okay, it's combat style, you <laughs> failed. So you would treat it as one greater level of success. So you've knocked it aside in okay. a parry. All right, um, that is it for the round, guys. We're at the start of round five. Mm. Tharkul, you get your two action points because of the stun. Yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, <laughs> your attacks are going to be minus 30. Is there, does the healing, the healing potions don't do anything for that? No, but what he can do is uh, you can treat me. Hold on here. Um, uh -huh. That's a good, here we go. Treating wounds is... Oh, it's profession medicine. Uh, treating a crippled condition can only be done once per long rest. He's got a cripple in his uh, body right now. Oh, so one thing you need to write down is uh, that uh, on your character sheet somewhere, Thar cool that you took the wound was caused by 10 points of damage. Once you heal, once the wound is treated, and you heal 10 hit points, however you ch you do that, um, all the, the wound and all the effects are removed. Oh. Yeah, so it's pretty handy. What's the wound called? The wound is called... Um, uh, is that like a name or... We, uh, this is one of the things that we're going to add whatever is thematic for the time. So like cooked liver, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> So if I heal 10 damage, though, it goes away. No, no, you just treat the wound first. But oh, that, you, oh, sorry. But it takes like an hour. Oh, yeah, so I can't really so You guys do will that. need some downtime in order to do that. Mm. But you're good. Oh, so you have two AP and you still have your full move. Yeah. So I can step one square forward and attack the sky. Yep, he's got a spear that's got the same reach as what your uh, uh, axe does, but your moving into range doesn't trigger attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. Um, I'll make my attack. So this is at minus 30. Yep. And this guy has way overplayed his hand. He has no action points or stamina to draw on. Okay, so I'll make an attack. And then oh! Add, but a 54, what's your strength? Oh, damn it. It's like two off or three off. No, oh, no! <laughs> God dang. Oh, man. Uh, um, so, yeah. Yeah, shit. Okay, so that, that one is, unsa is not successful. Would you like to try? Uh, you have one more AP. Yeah, because I only have two AP. Um, no, I'm going to actually use my movement to move back. So you have moved into rage. You would need to spend a, an, an action point to disengage. Move. Oh, to move out of range without the attack. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, no, no, ignore me, ignore me. He has no action points. So you right. know he can't do that. So yeah. Right, because he didn't react to my attack. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm going to step back because I can't get hit by something like that again. Okay. You guys can Maybe. feel free to, like... If if you uh, one of the things that that move playing here, a game yeah. yeah yeah that's smart like playing the actual video game like one of the things you find is the the sort of cheesing tactics that you would expect you to use like fuck I need to fall back and use some healing or I need to fall back and and wait for them to funnel through right totally viable yeah. tactics in this game as well yeah okay mm -hmm. so you fall back you still have one AP they're cool. She could, for instance, spend a stamina point to get another one, and you could spend two to draw and quaff a potion if you'd like. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense to not waste too many turns okay. fighting through that. So yeah, I'll go down to one stamina left Okay, and, and then, quaff the potion. Yep. So what does the potion heal me for? Eight points back, eight health. Oh, it's just auto eight, yep. okay. And yeah, you can buy I... more powerful or less powerful healing potions or find them or whatnot. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, I do that for then, sure. Olaf, you have your three points back. What would you like to do? So, can I heal as well? Like, can I try to heal him? 
Uh, well, again, it's, it's an hour in order to, to heal the okay. crippled, the, the, the wound that he's suffering from. It's going to take okay. an hour to treat that. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's basically nothing I can do at this stage to help the wound. Um, no. He's going to swing at the guy in front. You guys need to hire a healer. Uh, yeah. You would need to move one forward in order to oh, do that, because remember, right. his spear yeah. has got a range of three. Well, then I can move back after, so we'll move one. Okay. Does he opportunity me? And he got, doesn't have uh, the AP for it, so uh, okay. go right ahead. Okay, we will. Hmm, do I need to take this guy down? I'd like to take him out in one turn, so that means I have to take two swings, I think. Okay. So or you could. Regular... Uh, well, okay, well, yeah, I mean, you remember you could spend two to do uh, uh, yep. all an attack, and that only counts as one attack, by the way. It does take two uh, AP, but it counts okay. as one of the two attacks you can make in a round. Okay, I didn't quite realize that, but anyway, I hit him with this. Yeah, so. and then Gwen rolled uh, superior. Okay, so yep. seven. Uh, that's f uh, 12. Mm -hmm. Look at this big hit. That's another fucking wound. You guys hit so hard. Uh, yeah. And that's to the five. Uh, that's the body. Uh, so I need to make mm -hmm. a shock check. I failed. Uh, so he is... Loses an AP, so he'll be down by one for next round. And he's minus 30 on his action, so you fucking crank him right in the ch in the ribs. Mm -hmm. That's only one attack. You have uh, two more AP. Um, I want to save one for defense, so I think I got to do a regular attack here. Okay. Um, now, you can't use luck to do an extra... Like there's no way to do luck for an extra AP. No, not for not for okay. luck. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I could on. use it um, on the attack. Let me double check about burning. There yeah, is that's some what I meant. like sh for burning yeah. luck. There's shit you can do where. All right, burning, burning luck, luck one to increase the degree of success, three to reroll. Oh, so it's three to reroll a failed test. Oof. Yeah. Five to negate okay. the effects of a critical fail. Ten to ignore the effects of a wound. Hey, there you go. If we absolutely are in trouble, uh, um, now is that just one time they would burn luck, or to negate the effects of a wound, or would that count for the rest of the battle? No, no. <laughs> you pick one wound, and then you ignore okay. the effects of that altogether. Altogether for the yeah. rest of the okay. You still take uh, but, the damage. But once, you've, but once you've taken the wound, you can't do that. Okay. I mean, I'd let you spend if you're willing to burn 10 okay. luck. Yeah, like yeah. you... Because that's no yeah. small fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if we get into a lot of trouble, then uh, Tharkul could potentially think well, about what the that. 10, yeah, definitely could. Yeah. And what the 10 uh, luck also uh, means is like that your, your luck bonus is down by one, which means your yep. damage is less for the luck bonus and... The yep. uh, starting luck would be less, so it's a yep. big payoff. Right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But like, if we're if we're in so much trouble that we're likely to die or something, then yeah, yeah. you might want to yeah, do yeah. that, but not right now. All right, he's gonna s just swing a regular attack at this guy okay. again. That's a miss. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, one more. I... So if I burned luck... Um, if you burn three luck... Yeah, which would take me down to 41, which doesn't yep, do anything. Have, did you want to four. burn four... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, three I'll burn luck. three luck. Okay. Yep, to get the hit. Okay, so uh, go ahead and re-roll. Uh, hopefully get the hit. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully get the hit. There oh, you go. Bad. Nice. That's not bad at all. Uh... And four, so you do have advantage on this. So once again, you break this guy's ribs, and then that is a one. Uh, so yeah, then you or zero. So then you fucking cut his head off. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so nice. would you like to make a move as well? And so and then you have one more AP. Yeah. If I go further back into this, can they, would they be able to see me at all? You'd be back in the darkness to... with one meter back. And would that mean that they would not be able to... It's tough to uh, tell. That that one shaman seems to have been Zorchin Thar yeah. Tharkul just fine. If I go further back? Uh, it's tough to tell. Yeah, okay. He's going to go back just a little further. 
Okay. Just see how that goes. You know that circle has, fall, has fallen back to that full, that other... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then... Yep. For him, he has seen you. Let me make a... Mm -hmm. Ooh, I have to spend this extra AP. I guess it could have fell, fallen all the way back, but yeah. Exactly. I know. It's so... I'm rolling so high. <laughs> I'm wasting all these guys like... Mm -hmm. Is that... Do you see we're, him in there? We're, we're okay with that. Oh, the okay. one on top finally spotted you. He does okay. have minus 10 because both the shaman are uh, scared. Uh, Olaf, do you have any AP left? I have one. One? Okay, I'm going to firebolt at you. Mm -hmm. So would you like to try and block that or evade it? I think ev blocking has not worked because I basically have to hope he roll a one, so I'm going to try to evade. Okay. Uh, oof. No. Okay, so then let's see if my... Uh, I did successfully cast... Mm -hmm. So, that is fuck 10 points of damage okay from the firebolt uh then he's out of actions the archer is going to try and see you archer cannot so he will then just ready in action mm -hmm. the other guy's screaming and ra and like rattling up against the gate mm -hmm. and then Tharkul do you have any AP left I don't think so no Old was that the one who left? had the, No, but was that the one who fired up, it may not matter, that had the minus 10 to attacks? Which one? The one who shot the firebolt. I, I've already factored that in. Okay. But both it. of the okay. shaman have uh, the same penalty. Minus 10. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Then the. Uh, that is the end of round five. We're on to round six. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Thar, cool. Your guts don't feel right, um, but you have three AP this round. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, you're back. It was only the one round that you take it for the oh, it was initial. only the one round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. What would you like to do? Oh, man. I still want um, 30. <laughs> yeah. I'll move back. So, let me stop right at the darkness and take a look. What I see, I still see, oh, man, two more shamans. And I can't quite get there. The darkness wasn't offering much defense from their magic. Is there a different way to take cover from... I mean, again, like, could I... uh, there's an old orc saying, the best defense is a good offense. Yeah, but I just can't quite reach them because I'm 6, 7, but 8, But that's nine, only with 10, your move. Remember, you have 3 AP. You could dash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I... Right. So I'm going to move. Oh, no, wait. I, I Never mind. I'm an idiot. I do reach him. I have three... I always forget I have three squares of reach. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's and my reach that's insane. So yeah. here's... And just to give you a context for what this shaman's been doing, he hit you and then you retreated and it was kind of like... <laughs> And then he was looking in the darkness. He spent three AP looking in the darkness, trying to spot Olaf. And then suddenly you are like, racing up with your axe up. So I have no defense against this. Oh, beautiful. Okay, here we go. Come on, roll. Oh, but I have to roll really good because I have minus, minus 30. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Roll for superior. Superior? Oh, yeah. Nice. I needed it. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Okay, so that attack was on a two, which is to his body. Uh, so I do need to make a shock check first here. Uh, I succeeded on the shock check. So he takes one minus one AP next time, but let's see how much damage he takes. Nine plus you got it. So plus your half your luck bonus is 11. Look at this. Boom. And he's going to bleed five next turn. That was only one AP. Uh, mm -hmm. You've spent one to dash, one attack, you have one more AP. What would you like to do? Uh, remember, second remember, attack. Remember, if you do all-out attack, I mean... Bro, I didn't okay. dash, Kev. I didn't need to. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So you have two more AP. If you do an all-out attack, it gives you, what, plus 20? Plus, plus 20, 20 to hit. Oh. Yeah. Well, this worked, though. Then you have nothing. Oh, okay, 17's nice. enough. Sweet. Oh, nice. Uh, so then uh, that is... 11 more damage. Okay, what's it Us look two. like as you race out of the darkness and with two <laughs> fearsome strikes take down this shaman? Crazy good rolls. Uh, just, I think it's just like, um, you know, almost like hatred at this point. Like, you might have, you know, ruined my guts permanently. Like, yeah, you know, this is not 
Acceptable. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you still have one AP left. Um, do you want to do anything or you want to pass? Can I? No, I'll keep it for like evade or. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, but Kev, if he's here, like assuming these stairs go up, would the shaman be able to hit him? The shaman can hit him? Of... Yep. No, but oh, you need to move. Just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it'd be a... dope for cover. He needs line of sight for his spells. Yeah. So, yeah, if yeah, you so want to dash so if you and race like underneath... there, the shaman wouldn't be able to hit you anyway. Right. If I right, if I move this like dash over here yep. where I'm hidden. Yep. Yeah, it's probably better than evading because it's it makes sense. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you go racing over there. <sighs> Your guts on fire, kind of literally. Then okay. it is Olaf's turn. All right. Three AP I back. Say... Yep. Now, this guy does he seem like? Does he have AP left? He ha looks like he's trained his shot yeah. uh, on okay. the, uh, to see, oh fuck, he actually would have uh, made it, use his ready attack on uh, Tharkul. Well, he didn't, uh, so I mean, I guess he's readying for, for you, Olaf. Yeah. I think the problem is Olaf is now down to, what is he again? I keep, I keep almost making a mistake because it's not refreshing on mine. So I was like, I still got 21. Nope, I'm at nine. Um, he's going to take the moment to yeah, you've got this final one. You can do Robert, if, if you want to have it, to, you can hit refresh on your browser. Yeah. That way it should update all the stuff. So that way it's not. Um... Nope. And I'll shift ping you to get you back to. Okay. Hold on, everything seems to be very slow and coming back. That is okay, it's a big map. <coughs> okay. okay. So got you back. Remember to mute yourself in roll 20 and yep. I'm shift ping in you. Can you see yourself? Okay. I can. And is the bar updated? The bar is updated. Awesome. So, okay. first, first thing we're going to do is we're going to quaff because. Okay, not, two to get it out and quaff it down. Yep. One. Now, on a move, he could probably get to this guy. And this is 10 feet higher. Would he have reach to hit this guy since he's right at the edge? Mm, no, I don't think so, no. No, okay. If you had a reach three weapon, then probably, yeah. but... Well, he has an axe, but he'd have to switch that out. Uh... Well, the axe, but his axe is a battle axe with a oh, reach yeah, yeah. two. Yep. Not a great axe like Tharkul. I think he's going to... He's still going to move up. He's going to, so that's two, three. Oh, well, add to eight to your health if you quaffed your potion. I did, but I didn't. Did I you didn't hit enter? Uh, maybe not. Okay. There, there you go. go. Okay. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then he's going to swing at this guy. Okay. Okay, so as soon as you move out, he does get his ready to action then. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, so you, uh, do you want to uh, defend? So here, um, yes, he will defend. So you can block or evade. We will... And block just reduces if, if he hits, but this is going to be with an arrow, so I get full. An arrow, you get full uh, BR, yeah. Okay, he'll use the... He'll, he'll do the block attack. You got it, okay. Um, I, uh, I did hit, just barely. Hold on, I'm, I have to bring everything back, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay. Combat style. What that's go. Oh, you have fifty-four, don't you, for your strength? Yep, yep. Yep. So, so you just block. barely get it up. Um, it does uh, five points of damage. So that <laughs> hits your shield. Uh, yep. You can finish your move, but uh, you, unfortunately, you're out of does, AP. Does that reduce the BR? No, no, no. The only reason okay. it reduced the BR is because I did a crit on you. And okay, you succeeded. So, like, it was a weird, okay. very weird okay. situation. Okay. So, th so far I've moved three. I want to make sure on this four because I want to yeah. know how much. I five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He stops here. Okay. And he swings. Can't. I think you're out of, because you spent two AP to quaff your potion and then you spent one to block. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, that he's probably not going to come out. Um yeah, he would stay. Okay. He would kind of poke his head out to try to do that. And then yeah. once you could take cover behind gonna... that rock if you like. This rock uh, right I'll here. give you some cover. Right there? Yeah. Um, you know what? Instead, he's going to come right next to Tharkul. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, shunk, hey, and you, oh, yeah. 
Yep. All right. So then the yep. shaman <laughs> is shouting because I think he's up next. Yeah. Yeah. He loses. No, he doesn't lose any AP. He hasn't been hit yet. He's mm-hmm. going to move over here. He can't voluntarily move closer to you right now, Olaf. Mm-hmm. Um, so that also protects our cool. I'm going to spend bit. one action to try and rally that idiot below. <laughs> so roll personality. I succeed. Okay. Uh, so he has rallied this dumbass below, but he's going to, because since he started his turn panicked, he's not going to get any actions this round. And he has no mm-hmm. weapons either. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm then going to spend a second one to ready an action. And then... This guy, um, ooh, I think he will move back up to here, uh, back up to here, uh, one AP to reload and one AP to ready a shot. Uh-huh. Tharkle, do you have any AP left? Uh, no, I dashed to get to where I got. Oh, love, I don't think you do. I've got a banked ready to action, so here we go. We're on to round seven, guys. Tharkul, you get your three AP back. What would you like to do? Hey, so... There's a moment when you look at one another and there's a smile that goes back and forth between you guys. Because there's like (laughs) four dead Reachmen in this room already. Yep. Yeah, it is. So let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can get up there. Okay. I'll dash. So I'll 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 run around here and then I'll run up. Okay. So and... once you get to there, unfortunately, I do have those two ready to actions. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Can I have a real quick question. Yeah. Um, so. This is only five feet high. Could he pull himself over as part of the move? Uh, that... He could. Yeah, with that, I'll give us a, if he wants to give us an athletics check, he could just hop up and pull over without uh, having to. Uh, oh, yeah. I see. What, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's low enough that I could lift myself up there if I can. Yep. Yeah. I guess I could try. Yeah. That does not require an AP, or does it? No. No, nope, okay. that, that would just be, uh, uh, it would be difficult terrain for the first one, so it would cost double for the first, but then... Two, so I'd be three moves to there. Yeah. Instead and, of, yeah, okay, that and makes let me sense. see here, I'm going to, I'm actually going to make are it... You minus, you're minus 30 though, right? Or plus 30 on the... Okay. On athletics as well? Yeah, on all actions. Uh, oh, yeah. on any action. But, okay. but 50 okay. still is, is better than your, uh, your strength, right? Because it's 54? Mm-hmm. Mine is 54. Oh, yours is 54. Is. 55. His is 51. So that's still okay. better. Yeah, so you're still good. Uh, yep. okay. All right. However, then when you get up into range there, would you like to... I'll take my... Uh, I'll do the worst for you one first. The shaman has readied a another oh. firebolt. Would you like to try and evade that? Yeah, I'll use one of my AP to evade. Okay. Uh, I actually failed... Oh, yeah. So he doesn't get. They have a pretty decent chance of succeeding with their things, but yeah, yeah, my spell doesn't go off. So you don't. Mm -hmm. You will spend one AP evading, but I can't even possibly hit you. I do have one shot on you, too. Mm -hmm. Do you want to evade that as well, or you want to take a shot? Um, It's an iron short bow, which means you would know does probably 1d6 damage, but your armor applies against it. Yeah. I, I think he's just like, he's going to try and shrug it off and okay. just tr- keep going. Uh, so I do hit, but it only does three points of damage, does not get through your armor. Nice. Sheesh, hits your partial plate. Uh, so then, Arthur, you have only used one AP, finish your move. Yeah. So one, two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to there. Okay, I attack this crazy <laughs> archer. Okay. I, uh, need a I roll. have used up all my AP, so I cannot defend. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use another AP to try again. Okay. Sorry if there's sound in the background. My snow. Oh, yeah. hit! Yes! 
roll for superior. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, he didn't defend, so that means. Sorry, if there's noise coming through, uh, my snow removal guys are here, and they use apparently a jet plane engine to remove my snow. Um, not that I am not grateful for them. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so that You're is like we can leave this here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Four, uh, five. Uh, that's nine damage then. Uh, no, no, sorry, yeah, sorry. It's a six damage, and he bleeds for five next turn. Mm -hmm. So it's not a wound. Um, it's not cool. Uh, our, ooh, you've made two attacks, and you got one stamina point left. Hold off. <laughs> Tharkul has drawn the fire, it seems, literally and figuratively. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? He's going in. He's uh, he's more worried about the... Um... So first of all, he's going to do an athletics attempt to get over. He's yep. an apprentice. As an apprentice, easy, so... does, does... That's good does... against strength. Yep, so you're good. Yep, that's good. Okay, so, so he just comes up. two points of your movement to get up in there. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. He wants to get the shaman. Okay. So he's going to go right there. He's going to swing at the shaman. Um, go in. I can't defend. He's going He's going with a all-out attack on the first one. Nice. Okay. Um... Oh, short bow. No. Uh, that is so a that hit uh, to a the hit. left arm. Uh, and, I and you rolled max damage. Oh, I rolled max yeah, damage. Yeah, sorry, you the... So yeah. then that is with your sword, that'll be 13 points of damage. <laughs> Look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, I make my shock check. I failed my shock check. So you have severed his left arm. <laughs> 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 Any other you, two more AP? Uh, he has one more AP um, because I used all out attack. Oh, all attack! Yes, yeah, so yeah. He's going to use his regular attack. Um, so, is it, are there any negatives on him other than the minus ten for uh, um, fear? Panic? No, not right now. Okay, but he doesn't have so, any yeah, AP he, seemingly. Right, but I'm just saying that he's going to get the AP back, and he's still the most dangerous foe, I think, so he's going to swing at him again. Yep. Okay. Oh, misses. Um, yep. Okay. And then it is. All right. So then... Yeah, all right. So then on his turn, I am going to make a combat panic check for him because he's got his arm fucking cut off. He is... <laughs> Critical success on this. Okay. So nice. he is absolutely furious with you. He. <laughs> That's okay. We're all furious with each other. It's all right. Oh, you know what he's going to do? Do you have any AP yeah. left, Olaf? No. Oh, he no. Take, and no he stamina. to take him out. Which means yep. you're not going to be able to prevent him from using a fireball. Yep. Or trying to, at least. Oh, yep. my God. So he's no, going to try and toss to take this guy out. <laughs> a fireball, and he can't not hurt the archer, but he doesn't fucking care. Nice. Um, At least. Let me show you my tens digit, guys. Ooh, nice. 90. <laughs> I failed yep. my spell. So he can't get the spell off. Um, he's, trying to, he's trying to use the other hand for it. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Because he, he does have minus th uh, thirty on uh, on this as well. Yeah. Fuck it. He's trying to get magic to obey. I'm getting so close to a critical fail on this. Mm. Cannot get a spell off. And he's mm -hmm. wasted all of his AP. Uh, the this guy is going to make an athletics check to leap down from here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, succeeded. So he jumps and kind of rolls down over here. Um, I hate archers. <laughs> he's going to spend dash over to here. And he's going to take a shot at... You know, then he's going to reload. Because that's mm -hmm. all he can do. Mm -hmm. um, no, he'd have one more AP. Uh, 
will shoot at you, Olaf. You gotta. Mm -hmm. Do you have nothing? A, nothing. Mm -hmm. I hit. Olaf, you take one point of damage. Shatters <laughs> okay. on your armor. Uh, so Fuck. cool. Do you have any AP left? It's but a flesh wound. Uh, I do have one AP left. Oh yeah, and you couldn't attack. But, but uh, yeah, might I point out something that might be a good way to end today's session? Is sure. There is a force movement. Special action. Special actions do not count as attacks. Can you move? Do you have any movement left? I have one square of movement left. Shit. So what force yeah. movement allows you to do is you make combat t test against the uh, combat style against the combat style of your target. If you win, you can move you and your opponent up to three meters in any direction, including off the end. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Off the end, as in you just shove him off the side and take ten points of damage when he or take damage when he falls. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. But nice. what are you doing, uh, Tharko? Uh, you have one left. Anything you wish to do with the one AP? Um, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, mean, I guess you could Nothing dash that. as well. Again, you have, do you oh, have a, I could. Yeah. Do you have a position you could re? I might as well move so that I've got him oh. in my range. So that guy should have taken five point of damage from bleeding as well. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Then that. Oh, you know what? You have one mm -hmm. uh, stamina point left. Oh, I yeah. do have a last stamina do point. Do you want to spend a mm -hmm. to dash over and try and shove this guy off the side? Uh. I could, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, zero. There we go. Uh, I got a zero on my... Uh, <laughs> what do I roll? Uh, combat style. Combat style. You will be at minus 30 because of your... Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Think that that is okay. Oh. All right, so you're <laughs> rustling with this guy, and he is just in a blind panic. Uh, for mm -hmm. it, but uh, yeah, that is where we'll have to leave things, guys. Tharkul with cooked guts, uh, both out of stamina points, but uh, you guys are making a really good showing against these things. I mean, what am I talking about? You guys kicked the shit out of these uh, Reachmen. That was incredible. <laughs> it was a great fight. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, so then, uh, for those listening at home, thank you so much for joining us for the dead of uh, Deep Falls. I guess the dead were the ones that you guys were creating in this case. Um, as is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the session, the campaign, we've got six sessions of this so far, so I think we can safely call it a campaign. Uh, a, a The game, uh, a reminder, this is a free product that was put together by fans. So if you would like to pick up the uh, core rulebook uh, or any of the many scrolls they've put together that I've consolidated into this book, you can find a link in the description of the video to where you can get all of these. Um, I've also posted on the Dungeon Musings Discord server the character sheets for our heroes i'll do that again today maybe just to, so that it's ease of reference in the assorted games channel but if you are interested in uh playing this game yourself uh, you can find it there there's also a very active discord server that you can find a link to in that same uh, area down there um in addition, there's also a link down in our description of our video to the Dungeon Musings Discord server where we have channels dedicated to this, uh, talking about assorted games, including the, the Elder Scrolls, uh, unofficial Elder Scrolls role-playing game and uh, many other games. Uh, most of the campaigns we run on the channel, as well as a ton of other great stuff like finding a group or just GM discussion. There's a great community that's built up over the years over there, and you are more than welcome to join us. There's also a link in the description of the video to something to our friends at Noble Knight Games. Noble Knight Games is the preeminent unionized retailer of hard to find and out of print RPGs in North America. Not only do they have a great selection of new role playing games, board games, and card games, they have an unmatched selection of hard to find and out of print RPGs, including, uh, well, Conan, uh, the Mongoose. 
Bruce Conan RPG. I don't know why that's on my mind so much lately. Um, <laughs> if you make a purchase of $10 or more through their website, uh, you be sure to enter the code MUSERWINTER, all caps, all one word. It's listed in the description of the video. You'll save yourself 10% on your purchase. Uh, and if you're listening to this after April 15th, 2024, come back to one of our more recent videos. You'll get the current discount code then. Um, if they don't have something in stock in their extensive catalog, then you can put it on a want list and they'll send you an email when it comes in. There's also a link down below to something called Heroes Save Villages, which is a charity fundraising campaign we run on the channel. Um, what's of most interest for the donors for this year is that starting at the beginning of April, we will be having voting starting on our May the 4th charity session. We'll have donors who have donated $25 or more this year voting on what uh, era we're going to play in, and that'll include in continuity and out of continuity options, well, what kind of heroes we're playing, what kind of villains we're facing, and what RPG we're using. And there will be official and unofficial RPGs available for the options. Whoever, whatever wins the most votes for each of those weeks will make up the adventure we'll be playing on May the 4th. Um, so if you have, uh, if you follow the link in the description of the video to the Hero Save Villages campaign, all donations through that link go directly to SOS Children's Villages International, a really incredible organization active in over 130 countries, benefiting over 80,000 orphaned and abandoned children. And uh, all donations go uh, directly to them. None of it goes to the channel or any other middleman, just goes to help out the kids who benefit from their services. And uh, our small way of saying thank you is to have the donors uh, vote on these uh, sessions. We're also running other charity sessions for the first half of the year to thank donors from last year. But uh, starting in the middle of the year, anyone who has donated $25 or more to the campaign will be able to vote on the other sessions we're running for the second half of the year. But the first one coming up is our the uh, May the 4th charity session. So last thing I will say is a huge thank you to our stalwart heroes. I offered the return to Skyrim again this morning and both happily took up the axe and sword and shield as the case may be. So Jeffrey and Robert, thank you so much for letting me run this game once again. It is hands down one of my absolute favorites to run right now. So I really enjoyed uh, running this for you again today. Thank you very much. Yeah, I You're really welcome. enjoyed as well. It was great. Awesome. Then <laughs> we will be back ideally in two weeks' time in uh, the Great White North, not Skyrim, but Canada to see the uh, out the prison break at Kingston Jail, uh, where, we'll, where we will return to our Savage Supers campaign, The Guard. But until then, we hope that we gave you a few hours to take your mind off the troubles of our world and think about the troubles that our, uh, our uh, Skyrim heroes are encountering when they're just trying to find out who killed a old lady's family. Um, but <laughs> until we see you again, <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming. <laughs>